but the seniors inside were still angry and looked down on Joe Hyuk, saying, Look at that cheap guy. He is the leader of the Joe clan. The senior of the Namgung clan said, Not bad, you are also brave, but let me consider, there is no shortage of disciples like you in the world. Do I need to? He was about to say something. At this moment Joe Hyuk did not let him finish. Still begged sincerely. I will try. Joey then shook his head helplessly and said, How could you so easily give up the family name given to you by your ancestors? Then you refused to the elders of the Namgung clan. I cannot do that. So, sorry sir. Because Joey refused. Making Joe Hyuk surprised after listening. Why did you miss a good opportunity? The old man of the Namgung family clicked his tongue and said, Why do these talented guys know everything? Really angry. Yes, don't do that. That's right. The seniors inside Crimson Jade feel satisfied with this decision. He thinks, like he is a once in 500 year talent. Miss it's a pity. Then he walked up to him, pointed his finger and said, Because you had to change your family name. That's why you refused. So as an external disciple. He gave another condition to keep Joey. External disciple, is a disciple similar to a disciple of a nine sect family. Can learn all types of martial arts except the hereditary martial arts. Can be considered a sworn junior brother. You ask your ancestors for advice. It should be okay to do this. Where is it? I need the Namgung clan to join forces. The ancestors discussed and began to consider. In our time, Namgung was just an unknown place. But now this is also a famous family in the world. Right. If so then it's okay. A senior nodded slightly, probably agreeing, at the Namgung clan's house. They were present. Joey was paying his respects to the elders of the Namgung clan. He knelt down respectfully and said, I am Joey, paying my respects to Master. Master Joey immediately mentioned the rules. First, you must not defame the name Namgung. Second, when the clan is in danger, you are not allowed to run away. Third, you must gather when a gathering summons is issued from the family. Do you dare to swear? He asked. The disciple to swear. Joey answered without hesitation. So he was admitted to the Namgung clan. His master said. Now you answer. You have how can you practice internal martial arts like that? When you don't have a master? That. His question made Joey feel confused. You are speechless. He added. Don't even think about lying to me. Why do you think? As soon as we met you. We knew you didn't have a master and wanted to fight over you. The martial arts in your body have no image. Sword God ancestors, how should I answer? Boy stiffly begged the ancestors. They now did not know how to answer this question properly. The ancestors remained silent and did not answer. Then the old man continued. Well, have you ever taken some amazing elixir or internal energy herbs? Even if you have taken the elixir, but without the inner mind method to gain its power. It is useless. If you have practiced the inner mind method, then you have a master. His junior brother standing next to him agreed. That's right. Joey's master wondered. Moreover, just by the power of absorbing the luck of the elixir, you were able to open your veins to speed up your internal organs. Gong. Is there any such powerful magic in this world? If it is the Azure Heaven Great God of Martial Arts, the secret martial arts master of our family, the person beside him stroked his beard and thought. I'm not sure yet, although I haven't practiced it yet. I can't be sure, but someone who taught you such a powerful magic technique didn't teach you this move. Surely this kid didn't? Understand something, he concluded. After listening, Joey looked scared and thought. I was about to say it but these old guys are too smart. I can't reveal the secret about the Uike on Crimson Jade. It's too difficult. Seniors inside the Crimson Jade said contemptuously. This ordinary guy dares to use his naive mind to understand my descendants. Sword God Ancestor. Are you okay? Sword God Ancestor's tired expression quietly replied no. Why? Another ancestor said that he used too much spiritual energy so he's taking a break. Joey sighed softly. Fortunately, what should I do to get out of this situation? Inside the magic sword Zhou Qian appeared and said that, because there were no descendants, the master did not have a reputation. He just met a strange fate and inherited the true teachings of the ancient masters. This is a true enlightenment. Heard with Zhou Qian's words to relieve him, Zhou Wei immediately replied to the elders of the Namgung clan that, in fact, 
He had met a strange destiny and learned the true teachings through secret lives that the ancient masters had left behind. Besides, this master's inner mind technique is so advanced that just learning the mind method alone is too much. So, I still haven't learned any moves. Your master is surprised. Your successor master. You've read too many gangster novels. Haven't you? He shouted angrily. You can tell me that when you say that. Which cave is it in? Show me the way. I also had to go to school. He doesn't believe what you said. The disciple is telling the truth. Joey quickly explained. He slammed his hand on the table and scolded. Boldly. And pointed his finger directly at Joey to interrogate him further. But the master's moves that you learned through secret tricks. You already remember them all in your mind. Ah, of course. He answered awkwardly. Then show me the performance. He forced you to prove it. Then you made an excuse to refuse. Because the disciple's strength was not enough. At this point, he was even more angry because you couldn't prove anything. Too big. Okay. Did you learn martial arts through secret tricks? You think martial arts is a joke. Right. It's all just it's just a product of the imagination of those who spread the story. If esoteric secrets can be passed down with scraps of paper, then why does a sect exist? But Shaolin also kept secrets in the Sand Palace. He quickly retorted. His master clicked his tongue and continued. No matter how detailed the internal martial arts and techniques were recorded, without a teacher teaching them, it would be impossible to pass on martial arts to future generations. Secretly, the secret is a way to prevent martial arts from being lost. If you only learn that secret, you won't be able to reach the master's level. Why is he so talkative? There's no need for a long explanation. Tell him to discuss martial arts. Zhou Qian lost patience and asked him. Discuss martial arts. What Zhou Qian means is competition. With the mouth, not the body. Competing with knowledge of martial arts to determine victory or defeat. Zhou Qian said that if you want to trick guys like that, you have to discuss swordplay to convince them. Right? He heard that and immediately said. If the master really doesn't believe the disciple, then please discuss swordplay with him. Duh. Discussing swords. Do you know the clan's sword moves? He wondered. He pretended to calmly say out loud. The master also doesn't know the disciple's sword moves. So the disciple will use six he fists and three talented swords. With the step technique, the disciple will use seven star steps to fight. The senior brother. Joey stood next to hear that and was surprised to hear Joey continue that. In terms of force, each side would use 10 years. The elders of the Namgung clan also looked on in surprise. Then Joey's master immediately agreed with him. He would also use those martial arts to fight him. So they decided to compete. He said louder. The adults who gave in like that showed off their talents go. The disciple will use the most greedy Kai to aim at the master's upper body. The two people started to fight. At this time they were subconsciously fighting each other. Joey was using his sword to rush in. He was fast quickly avoid the move. The move he used to dodge just now is the seven stars retreat. After that, he will attack Joey's middle part with the sea dragon. He will also launch the move with his fist. After using the evil self-determination of the seven star department to weaken his master's attack. Joey used the self-determination speed to stab the right side and aimed at the pull gate point and the brain point with the two theme two-way point. He used one speed, quickly change attack techniques. At this point, his master thought that it was strange. The most basic connecting move of the three talented swordsmanship is that after using 2002 lines, he would use 1000 stars. If he buried it later, it's really one way to ascend to heaven. If he doesn't step back then it's two heavens in two ways. He's so distracted that he doesn't understand why he's not playing properly. But he still continues to attack. The rest will use quick self-determination to attack. After sealing your right side with quick self-determination. Use immutable and strictly to aim at your acupuncture point. Joey counterattacked, Using up 10 years of force and then using self-determination to defend. After that. He used the flying eagle flash to aim at his master's neck. He laughed out loud and said loudly. In the end you used your force. At best I will use up 10 years of force and self-determination of the seven stars. But he suddenly realized that this was impossible. He thought. Just now it used internal attack to block his attacks. But now it started using attack power. In a match. 
It has to combine up to three moves before using transformation. Okay, now it doesn't just use attack, attack, and retreat, but also has to think about changing moves. That's what he thinks. But then continue to attack. No, I won't use the method of self-determination. I will use self-determination to retreat and use cold to kill. At this time, Zhou Qian inside the necklace told Zhou Yi to listen. Look at him. Does he think the sword argument is a joke? In real combat there is no such thing as withdrawing a move like that. Joey is a bit uncomfortable. Then he retorted to his master. He knew the rules of sword play. Why did he still do that? He couldn't stop the martial arts he had already used. Then he turned serious and pondered for a moment. Looking a bit frustrated. Then he continues to use the move. After using self-determination to retreat to the left. I will use all my strength to target your upper body and perform a giant dragon out to sea. Approach you with self-determination speed and then use cold. Brings Pepper to connect. He noticed something unexpected. His attack stabbed straight at him. He quickly ducked down to avoid it. Then continued to counterattack. The disciple will also use all his strength to perform self-determination. After capturing the master's lower body. Using ascension one way to slash his master. He swung his sword. That surprised him. Bu Wun Ji stood next to him and observed the match. He thought, it's impossible. My big brother's heavenly sword immortal would give up after only four rounds. The other one also thought in surprise. This kid doesn't know any tricks. Moreover he has the malicious intent to attack vulnerable areas. Not hesitating to launch killing blows. The old man laughed loudly and praised. You are quite good. I was distracted and was slow to develop my inner strength. That's why I had such trouble. So after this match, he lost. He humbled himself I'll ask again. Can I have another round? I want to see more of your strength. He raised a finger and looked like he didn't want to. Seemed very bitter because he lost to Joey. You said okay, but instead, please, master, fight with all your might like in a real battle. He awkwardly replied, of course I will try my best. I won't give in to you anymore. Joey nodded slightly. This time it's my master. He said, but in any case, I should let you make the first move. He is humble. He has the dignity of a senior. You agree and then attack first. You use your speed to skewer him on the left side. Then during a battle in that house. His master's face was now extremely tired. Sweating profusely. His body was trembling. His younger brother had been standing next to him. Observing all this time. He again he secretly smiled and thought. Big brother fought like he was fighting for real. But he only lasted 7 rounds. He couldn't believe it. After this fencing match, Joey's master laughed loudly and said, That's really talented. The way of immortals you performed at the end was really a very talented move. Then he wanted to fight one more round. Yes, it seemed like he was very upset in his heart and wanted to undo the fight. He also agreed. This time he felt a bit unstable but still wanted to gain face and let him take a step forward. But then he thinking back. Maybe it was like he didn't want to give in anymore. So he said to Joey. Well, there's a saying that the first person always wins. If we keep doing that, we'll be at a disadvantage forever. He thinks that if we give in to you anymore then he will lose again. He replied. This time the disciple let the master go first. He quickly agreed. The next battle continued in that place. The atmosphere outside the house was warm. But who knows how tense they are arguing inside. This time it was six rounds. He could only endure six rounds. He was already very upset and uncomfortable. He angrily pointed his finger and shouted. One more time. He also complied. So the battle continued like that. One battle after another. He was extremely helpless. His body trembling. Said in despair. Have you lost 13 times in a row? Am I dreaming? Surely I am dreaming, your younger brother said. Maybe it's because you haven't mastered the three swords yet. Let's stop here brother. Shut up, boy. He turned around and shouted. He didn't want to lose face in front of a junior like Joey. Then he sat down on the chair, facing Joey and said, Very good. You must have studied each three talented swordsmen is very skilled, right? So it's only fair to give me time to learn the three talented swordsmanship. So what should I do? He asked. He continued, even though the three talented swordsmanship is low in martial arts but you don't have to study for about a month to understand it. Right? He said, then after a month we will continue to discuss. 
His master stood up and answered firmly very quickly. Okay, okay, don't be afraid, you have to go to the nursing home discussion area. Finished speaking he quickly walked away. Without saying anything else, after the recent sword fights, he probably felt like he didn't know where to hide his face. Joey watched and smiled softly, thinking, if he knew if your opponent argues that your sword is a sword god, what kind of expression will he show? He will probably be mad. Little does he know that the last 13 losses were against the sword god Zhou Qian. Not must be a kid like you. A hand touched Joey's shoulder. His senior brother Zhou Hugh said with a scared face. Who are you? Maybe he also discovered something. Felt you not the Joey of the past. He asked a question that made him feel guilty. Zhou Hugh, after observing the sword debate just now, was surprised to think. The three sword skills that I practiced the most diligently. I still remember all of them. I was thinking about the sword in my head but. Is that guy a martial arts genius? No. It feels like I'm facing something much stronger. And even conceals his internal skills. He's thinking of things that what I learned is nothing compared to Joey. Then Joey waved his hand and said. Later. Later I will explain everything Joe Hugh brother. Bu Woon Ji observed and said. I was just planning on drinking with him. But that's it it doesn't seem right. Let's see. Hai Wa and Yun Sol are already married. That's right. I still have Gaeung. He's probably thinking about marrying his daughter to Joey. But he's just thinking. Because his brother spoke first. What do you think about the most beautiful flower in the Namgung clan? Namgung 2 2. Joey replied. The women of the Namgung clan are of course beautiful. But no one seems to know anything about An He. Right? That old man smiled and said. It's my granddaughter. Come on. Let me introduce her to you. His granddaughter seems to be a very beautiful beauty. She looks very lovely. Then they immediately moved out of the backyard. Bu Woon Ji ran after them to stop him. No, brother. He already has a fiancé. He quickly retorted. Who? Who dares to get engaged? To my daughter. Mount Wa Little Dragon. Bu Woon Ji replied. But he denied. Who said he gave my daughter to that beggar Taoist? Now he has marked someone else then. He quickly changed his attitude. Bu Woon Ji didn't know what else to say to him. At the Namgung clan, after a while everyone left that house. The backyard inside was so solemn. The sunlight shining in made it more magnificent. Joey walked around feeling that something was wrong. Something was very strange, although it was a good thing that the elders had sympathy for me. But I was forced to stay with them for half a month. I should have gone back and to develop his business. But now I'm stuck in the sword sect. He wandered around the backyard of the Namgung clan. Went into a room to look around. He thought to himself. But how long will it take to get to my place? That little girl. Joey looked around at the items stored in this room. Feeling it was truly magical. He thought this dark. Cramped place was like the underworld. Then Joey gradually walked closer to one of them. The instrument was placed next to it. He reached out to touch the instrument. Wondering if it could still be used. He plucked the strings, making clear sounds. He realized, according to the modern music, it was do, re, me, so, la. Joey seemed interested. That's it. Reminds me of when I used to play the guitar in college. So you experienced the guitar happily. Someone spoke up. How did? Joey hear the voice and turn around in surprise? And he was surprised to see a beautiful woman in front of him. She walked in and asked. That. How did you do it? Her face faltered in embarrassment. Joey quickly clasped her hands respectfully. I was rude. The old man who had just stepped inside. The beautiful woman asked again. How did she make that sound? Her eyes lit up thinking. At the same time blocking three seconds with overlapping sounds to create that sound. When singing, we often combine sounds from many different instruments. But. She quickly ran to beg. Please teach me how to make that sound. Joey replied. It's not difficult. I wonder if you can help me adjust the remaining two seconds to the pitch I want. She happily walked to the piano confidently. If it's about adjusting the pitch of the strings, there's no sound that I can't adjust. Whatever you want to adjust to. He said, if you help me, young lady, set one second to the sound between the MI and SOL sounds. One second to the sound between the LA and DO sounds. She did as he wanted and asked, if it's the sound between MI and SOL. Then do you want to be Trong Lu or Miss Bowie? Joey replied, can you try to break it down for me? 
Then she started plucking the strings. A sound came out, but Joey replied, not this sound. Then she changed the way she played, playing another melody. Joey heard it and realized, it was this sound, is the sound, rabid Lou, she said happily. Then she continued to strum the guitar. Joey heard the melody and told her back. She was also interested. This sound is lamb trung. Joey put his hand on the guitar and told her. Combining the appropriate sounds together is called harmony. Harmony. She wondered. He continued. Yes. Starting from harmony C then he played gentle sounds. She heard that and was surprised by his way of creating harmony. But harmony what is C? She wondered. Joey heard it and was speechless. Not knowing how to answer. He played and thought. How to explain? I don't know how to explain either. Because it's the way called by modern people. Followed by harmony D he did not answer but continued to teach. Playing each resounding melody. After hearing it, she was extremely happy. As if her eyes had opened wide. She exclaimed. That's it. I heard this music just now. This sound. So beautiful. More. More. They talked happily to each other in the clear and gentle sound of the piano. The old man stood behind and watched. Silently sighing. He thought. What can I do? Why did that name suddenly fall? Come down here. He looked towards his daughter. Seeing that she was very engrossed. He thought. That even if he met the elegant sons of other clans. He would still show an arrogant look. But why are you so happy to meet him? She turned to ask. Sir. Just now you played the do and mi sounds at the same time. Right? You replied. Yes. And if you combine it with harmony too. His hands continued to strum the guitar. But it didn't seem very smooth. Still not perfect. He missed a beat. He said. My strength is still lacking. Let me try come on. She raised her hand to prepare to continue playing the melody. And then the melodious sound of her guitar sounded so inspiring. Her appearance at this moment looked so beautiful. Joey realized that he had heard this somewhere before. He must. He remembered. It sounded right she looks like Maroon 5's girls like you. She's a musical genius. Her guitar sound reminds Joey of a song he heard in modern times. After hearing it, he was ecstatic. In this world, she was about to say something. Her face still as bright as a flower. Joey bowed her head and smiled shyly. Saying, it's true that I have deceived the worker. It's embarrassing to do that in front of the young lady. The old man the master standing behind walked over and smiled and said. I've heard the sound of this wonderful piano. How can I hear the sounds of other piano masters in the future? That's right. How do you think of my daughter? He asked. What's wrong? Joey is embarrassed because the question is really embarrassing. I've seen all the most beautiful celebrities of the Republic of Korea. But to be honest, I'm still moved by this girl why? Joey observed her beautiful face, then exclaimed from the bottom of his heart. The sound is wonderful, he replied. He looked at it with interest, somewhat proud, making him feel feel unstable. Then you decided to withdraw first to be safe. Let me excuse myself first, he asked. You going to the elder's court? Joey awkwardly said, yes, master told me not to go around waiting for people there. I don't can't disobey your words. This time he heard it and laughed loudly and said, this kid really doesn't know anything about him. Do you want to bet with me? Then let's bet go. He immediately agreed. One evening in the Namgung clan. Joey and Jo Hyuk were arranged to rest in a room. At this time Jo Hyuk was fast asleep. Only Joey was still sitting on the table thinking about something. Sword God. He silently called in his thoughts. Sword God spoke. Why is this happening? Then he asked. What did you do to my body? Why are the people of the Namgung clan so panicked? Sword God Jo Cheon replied. I just transmitted my unique sword and mind technique into your body. That's great. Why are you wondering? What is the answer you want? Jo Cheon asked again. This is what happened to my body. Shouldn't I know? Now the fear in my heart is also spinning around dizzily. He was confused. Inside him was surging some hard to speak power. Because all the meridians had been opened. Of course your internal energy had also increased rapidly. No need worried. You will be able to attain a complete energy code within three years. Jo Cheon explained to Joey to ease his worries. He wondered, saying that my internal mind dharma is stronger than the blue sky great lotus god the work of the head of the Namgung clan. Who do you think I am? Jo Cheon shouted angrily, making Joey's eardrums seem to be punctured. He continued, 
If you want to compare with my great heavenly sword art, there is only Grand Master Wisdom's great heavenly divine art in Tam Fong's Tai Chi divine art, and also Infinity Mixed Master's art. That's all. Well, maybe to deal with the power of the sword god Zhou Qian must be people with extreme strength. Not to be underestimated, Zhou Yi wondered again, according to reputation, is it not the magic power of Hua Sun and Thien Ha? Isn't the demon god art of Heavenly Devil City the most powerful? Sword God replied despondently, Stop mentioning such junk like demonic magic. This is the first time I've heard of Purple River God art. I've never heard of it. Seeing that kind of practice. Joey, when he heard that, he scratched his head and wondered, Could it be that in your time there was no Wa Sun sect? Yes, Zhou Qian replied. Then he continued, But there was no such thing as a dead heart method. Shen Gong, probably a mind technique created by later generations. Probably so. After all, it is similar to the five great magic techniques. But the mind magic he learned is more advanced. He decided not to think too much about it. About it anymore. Thank you. Joey is happy to have Zhou Qian behind him. Inside the Crimson Jade space, the sword god shows a cunning smile and says, After all, you increased your internal strength so quickly that you will soon just have to suffer side effects. So there's no need to thank me. Joey was scared when he heard that. What are the side effects? He calmly said, isn't that a matter of course? Do you know that you have what stages did you go through? What stages did you go through? What stage? Joey felt a little scared. He continued, if the practice is successful in such a simple way, then everyone in the world will have a peerless internal skill. All I do is use the overwhelming power of innate true energy to help you. Clears all the blood and meridians and forces you to accept the great sword heavenly technique. That's all. If you meet someone of the same level you will definitely win every battle. That is the biggest side effect. Sword sect can solve this problem. If you don't have the merit of earning money. You're just a child with a smelly mouth and the power of an adult. Zhou Qian explained further for him to understand. Joey sighed and said, if I finish the job, I will immediately go to the sword sect, as quickly as possible. That evening passed like that in the Namgung clan. Joey and Zhou Hyuk were detained here. After a tiring day, it was finally morning. Inside that room, there were two people sitting opposite each other. They were doing something. Father, now you let me go. A man said to the old man who is also Joey's master. The old man said, quickly tell me the next move. This person seems to be the old man's son. He looked annoyed and said tiredly. After capturing his father with the Seven Star Clan's self-determination, he attacked the upper part with the giant dragon leaving the sea. He sighed and exclaimed, You idiot! Why did you choose the giant dragon to leave the sea right after the self-determination? That's the reason why the realm can only be like that. Hearing those criticisms, his son was so angry that he couldn't speak. Then Joey's master taught. After using all your strength to attack with self-determination, you must attack below with ascension one way. How's that? I've lost. He's powerless. The old man laughed, cheerfully. Then he happily said, that's right. That's normal. That's right. Of course I won. Right. At this moment his son stood up and exclaimed, that's impossible I can't bear it. I'm really going now. Today is the second day I can't see the children's faces. The old man stroked his beard. Thinking back to yesterday's sword fight with Joey, that guy used 2002 way like his star and moon. This method is based on irregularity and unethicality, called inevitable events. Three great swordsmanship. His son is puzzled. The old man blurted out, Up, that's right, it's four, two, eight thousand pounds. There must have been a senior person's support, so the situation of four, two, eight thousand pounds appeared. The situation of four, two, 8,000 pounds that the old man is talking about here is a feat. The method of absorbing the opponent's strength. One of the basic principles of Tai Chi is synonymous with using softness to overcome hardness. Who exactly is it? The one who made his father become like this with the three great sword techniques. The old man's son exclaimed in extreme surprise. He was discouraged to say a word. It was his younger brother. Newbie. Disciple. The old man's son was surprised. Then he sighed, his face darkened seriously. He looked dejected and recounted that, having lost 13 times in a row, I still I have never won against that kid. It was shocking to the listener. 
Then his son said in surprise, You have accepted someone with the strength of one of the seven martial arts as your disciple. My old man the Namgung clan said, What is the loss of martial arts? If I lose to a martial artist of such caliber, do I need to be so rich? My disciple is not even twenty years old. The more I listen, the more shocked I become. His son asked again, You're not lying, right? Pull out the sword. He angrily clutched the sword. Where is that kid right now? He asked. Old man Namgung replied, He must be at the elder's court. At the elder's court, the dark light shines on the side the roof of the academy. There are many people bustling here. They are talking to each other. What? You can't help but lose to a young man under twenty years old, is that true? Then the kid, there they gritted their teeth. Angry, eyes wide open, looked at Joey. He was feeling awkward. They seemed to be mad. Joey sat there and said, Hey, did I do something wrong? Then the old sword fairy walked inside. The people dodged to make way. Respectfully bowed their heads to say hello. Then the sword fairy master sat down on the chair opposite Joey and said, Okay, are you ready? Joey replied, There's nothing to prepare. The disciple is just waiting for the master to come. Okay, I'll go okay first. The old sword fairy said somewhat angrily. Please master, Joey calm down. Joe Hugh next to him is a bit nervous. The sword fairy go first. Those who heard that were surprised. Yes maybe they thought that if he went first, it would show that he was weaker than Joey. Joey spoke first. When starting, the disciple had a wish. Sword fairy master said, want to bet. Joey paid words. If the master said so, then consider it a bet. He asked, what do you want? Joey took out a book from inside his shirt, making him wonder. Then Joey opened the book. The money-making master looked at him wonderingly. This is Hafei's map. He looked clearly inside the map and asked, What are those dots? Joey replied, The red dots are the places that his disciples want to invite. Guests arrive. Master Sword Fairy heard that and wondered, Why are you coming? Do you want to do business? Then he clicked his tongue and said, If this old master loses, the master of the inner court will give you the Thuong Thien sword card. Then he said big, in return, if I win, you will have to change your name and become a descendant of this family. Joey was extremely excited when he heard that and quickly agreed. Okay, then it's a relationship. Inside Crimson Jade, the sword god Zhou Qian was furious. Clenched his fists, his veins raised and said, What an arrogant guy, dare to take you for his family name. Today I will teach him how high the sky and the earth are thick. Master Sword Fairy has now entered the fencing match. Grandpa Chu, after taking over your back with his own determination. After a while of competition, many people still flock to watch the sword debate between the two. People. The people around observing said. What? As if they were listening to instructions. Instructions. They were puzzled. Joey was still dueling with swords. Competing to transfer eight parts of his power and then using self-determination to take over. Behind his master, he used one flash to break through the mountain to aim at the destiny point. Joey's technique changed. He threw himself behind the master sword fairy. Surprising him, he dodged. He attacked Gong. Used self-determination to avoid. Then use open theme theme Toa to execute the sword technique. Joey continued to use PM. If use self-determination to avoid, use NHI Thien NHI low point 2 Accu points or brain Accu points and see cave. The sword fairy master lowered his face. He didn't look good, he thought, so all the moves of destiny and evil self-determination were blocked. He remained silent, as if thinking of more moves. After a while, Joey said, half a moment has passed. The master also knows the rules of swordplay. So, he waved his hand to move again. Quick self-determination. I use self-determined speed in the opposite direction to escape the attack. Yours. As expected, they believe in the power of the sword fairy master. Joey still refused to give up. Continued to counterattack. The disciple used eight points of his strength. Waiting until he returned to the self-determination just now. Disciple having used up half of the power. Use the combined foot technique to deploy the full power of the fortune telling. Next, finish by using the flying eagle behind the master. He seemed to be at this moment, feeling the difference in strength between the two. He despaired, thinking, the gap between him and it is too obvious. 
Sword Fairy Master sighed. Boy, I've lost. Let's use this game to decide the winner. Then he asked again. But can we play a few more rounds, of course. He said thank you to Joey. The people around who were watching them said. It felt like he was requested to learn so. Continued they debated swords for the next games. Sword Fairy Master made an attack. Then Joey also made defensive moves and fought back. But the seniors inside were still angry and looked down on Joe Hugh. Saying, look at that cheap guy. He is the leader of the Joe clan. The senior of the Namgun clan said. Not bad, you are also brave, but let me consider. There is no shortage of disciples like you in the world. Do I need to? He was about to say something. At this moment Joe Hugh did not let him finish. Still begged sincerely. I will try. Joey then shook his head helplessly and said. How could you so easily give up the family name given to you by your ancestors? Then you refused to the elders of the Namgung clan. I cannot do that. So, sorry sir. Because Joey refused. Making Joe Hugh surprised after listening. Why did you miss a good opportunity? The old man of the Namgung family clicked his tongue and said. Why do these talented guys know everything? Really angry. Yes, don't do that. That's right. The seniors inside Crimson Jade feel satisfied with this decision. He thinks. Like he is a once in 500 year talent. Miss it's a pity. Then he walked up to him. Pointed his finger and said. Because you had to change your family name. That's why you refused. So is an external disciple. He gave another condition to keep Joey. External disciple. Is a disciple similar to a disciple of a nine sect family. Can learn all types of martial arts except the hereditary martial arts. Can be considered a sworn junior brother. You ask your ancestors for advice. It should be okay to do this. Where is it? I need the Namgung clan to join forces. The ancestors discussed and began to consider. In our time, Namgung was just an unknown place. But now this is also a famous family in the world. Right. If so then it's okay. A senior nodded slightly. Probably agreeing. At the Namgung clan's house. They were present. Joey was paying his respects to the elders of the Namgung clan. He knelt down respectfully and said. I am Joey. Paying my respects to master. Master Joey immediately mentioned the rules. First. You must not defame the name Namgung. Second. When the clan is in danger. You are not allowed to run away. Third. You must gather when a gathering summons is issued from the family. Do you dare to swear? He asked. The disciple to swear. Joey answered without hesitation. So he was admitted to the Namgung clan. His master said. Now you answer. You have how can you practice internal martial arts like that? When you don't have a master? That. His question made Joey feel confused. You are speechless. He added. Don't even think about lying to me. Why do you think? As soon as we met you. We knew you didn't have a master and wanted to fight over you. The martial arts in your body have no image. Sword God Ancestors. How should I answer? Boy stiffly begged the ancestors. They now did not know how to answer this question properly. The ancestors remained silent and did not answer. Then the old man continued. Well, have you ever taken some amazing elixir or internal energy herbs? Even if you have taken the elixir. But without the inner mind method to gain its power. It is useless. If you have practiced the inner mind method, then you have a master. His junior brother standing next to him agreed. That's right. Joey's master wondered. Moreover, just by the power of absorbing the luck of the elixir, you were able to open your veins to speed up your internal organs. Gong. Is there any such powerful magic in this world? If it is the Azure Heaven Great God of Martial Arts, the secret martial arts master of our family, the person beside him stroked his beard and thought. I'm not sure yet, although I haven't practiced it yet. I can't be sure, but someone who taught you such a powerful magic technique didn't teach you this move. Surely this kid didn't? Understand something, he concluded. After listening, Joey looked scared and thought. I was about to say it but these old guys are too smart. I can't reveal the secret about the Uike on Crimson Jade. It's too difficult. Seniors inside the Crimson Jade said contemptuously. This ordinary guy dares to use his naive mind to understand my descendants. Sword God Ancestor. Are you okay? Sword God Ancestor's tired expression quietly replied no. Why? Another ancestor said that he used too much spiritual energy so he's taking a break. Joey sighed softly. Fortunately, what should I do to get out of this situation? 
Inside the magic sword Zhou Qian appeared and said that, because there were no descendants, the master did not have a reputation. He just met a strange fate and inherited the true teachings of the ancient masters. This is a true enlightenment. Heard with Zhou Qian's words to relieve him, Zhou Wei immediately replied to the elders of the Namgung clan that, in fact, he had met a strange destiny and learned the true teachings through secret lives that the ancient masters had left behind. Besides, this master's inner mind technique is so advanced that just learning the mind method alone is too much. So, I still haven't learned any moves. Your master is surprised. Your successor master. You've read too many gangster novels. Haven't you? He shouted angrily. You can tell me that when you say that. Which cave is it in? Show me the way. I also have to go to school. He doesn't believe what you said. The disciple is telling the truth. Joey quickly explained. He slammed his hand on the table and scolded. Boldly. And pointed his finger directly at Joey to interrogate him further. But the master's moves that you learned through secret tricks. You already remember them all in your mind. Ah, of course. He answered awkwardly. Then show me the performance. He forced you to prove it. Then you made an excuse to refuse. Because the disciple's strength was not enough. At this point, he was even more angry because you couldn't prove anything. Too big. Okay. Did you learn martial arts through secret tricks? You think martial arts is a joke. Right. It's all just it's just a product of the imagination of those who spread the story. If esoteric secrets can be passed down with scraps of paper, then why does a sect exist? But Shaolin also kept secrets in the Sand Palace. He quickly retorted. His master clicked his tongue and continued. No matter how detailed the internal martial arts and techniques were recorded. Without a teacher teaching them, it would be impossible to pass on martial arts to future generations. Secretly, the secret is a way to prevent martial arts from being lost. If you only learn that secret, you won't be able to reach the master's level. Why is he so talkative? There's no need for a long explanation. Tell him to discuss martial arts. Zhou Qian lost patience and asked him. Discuss martial arts. What Zhou Qian means is competition. With the mouth, not the body. Competing with knowledge of martial arts to determine victory or defeat. Zhou Qian said that if you want to trick guys like that, you have to discuss swordplay to convince them. Right? He heard that and immediately said. If the master really doesn't believe the disciple, then please discuss swordplay with him. Duh. Discussing swords. Do you know the clan's sword moves? He wondered. He pretended to calmly say out loud. The master also doesn't know the disciple's sword moves. So the disciple will use six he fists and three talented swords. With the step technique, the disciple will use seven star steps to fight. The senior brother, Joey stood next to hear that and was surprised to hear Joey continue that. In terms of force, each side would use ten years. The elders of the Namgung clan also looked on in surprise. Then Joey's master immediately agreed with him. He would also use those martial arts to fight him. So they decided to compete. He said louder. The adults who gave in like that showed off their talents go. The disciple will use the most greedy Kai to aim at the master's upper body. The two people started to fight. At this time they were subconsciously fighting each other. Joey was using his sword to rush in. He was fast quickly avoid the move. The move he used to dodge just now is the seven stars retreat. After that, he will attack Joey's middle part with the sea dragon. He will also launch the move with his fist. After using the evil self-determination of the seven star department to weaken his master's attack. Joey used the self-determination speed to stab the right side and aimed at the pull gate point and the brain point with the two theme two-way point. He used one speed. Quickly change attack techniques. At this point, his master thought that it was strange. The most basic connecting move of the three talented swordsmanship is that after using 2002 lines, he would use 1000 stars. If he buried it later, it's really one way to ascend to heaven. If he doesn't step back then it's two heavens in two ways. He's so distracted that he doesn't understand why he's not playing properly. But he still continues to attack. The rest will use quick self-determination to attack. After sealing your right side with quick self-determination, use immutable and strictly to aim at your acupuncture point. Joey counterattacked, using up 10 years of force and then using self-determination to defend. After that, he used the flying eagle flash to aim at his master's neck. 
He laughed out loud and said loudly. In the end you used your force. At best I will use up 10 years of force and self-determination of the seven stars. But he suddenly realized that this was impossible. He thought, just now it used internal attack to block his attacks. But now it started using attack power. In a match, it has to combine up to three moves before using transformation. Okay, now it doesn't just use attack, attack, and retreat, but also has to think about changing moves. That's what he thinks. But then continue to attack. No, I won't use the method of self-determination. I will use self-determination to retreat and use cold to kill. At this time, Zhou Qian inside the necklace told Zhou Yi to listen. Look at him. Does he think the sword argument is a joke? In real combat there is no such thing as withdrawing a move like that. Zhou Yi is a bit uncomfortable. Then he retorted to his master. He knew the rules of sword play. Why did he still do that? He couldn't stop the martial arts he had already used. Then he turned serious and pondered for a moment. Looking a bit frustrated. Then he continues to use the move. After using self-determination to retreat to the left. I will use all my strength to target your upper body and perform a giant dragon out to sea. Approach you with self-determination speed and then use cold. Brings Pepper to connect. He noticed something unexpected. His attack stabbed straight at him. He quickly ducked down to avoid it. Then continued to counterattack. The disciple will also use all his strength to perform self-determination. After capturing the master's lower body. Using ascension one way to slash his master. He swung his sword. That surprised him. Bu Wun Ji stood next to him and observed the match. He thought, it's impossible. My big brother's heavenly sword immortal would give up after only four rounds. The other one also thought in surprise. This kid doesn't know any tricks. Moreover he has the malicious intent to attack vulnerable areas. Not hesitating to launch killing blows. The old man laughed loudly and praised. You are quite good. I was distracted and was slow to develop my inner strength. That's why I had such trouble. So after this match, he lost. He humbled himself I'll ask again. Can I have another round? I want to see more of your strength. He raised a finger and looked like he didn't want to. Seemed very bitter because he lost to Joey. You said okay, but instead, please, master, fight with all your might like in a real battle. He awkwardly replied, of course I will try my best. I won't give in to you anymore. Joey nodded slightly. This time it's my master. He said, but in any case, I should let you make the first move. He is humble. He has the dignity of a senior. You agree and then attack first. You use your speed to skewer him on the left side. Then during a battle in that house. His master's face was now extremely tired. Sweating profusely. His body was trembling. His younger brother had been standing next to him. Observing all this time. He again he secretly smiled and thought. Big brother fought like he was fighting for real. But he only lasted 7 rounds. He couldn't believe it. After this fencing match. Joey's master laughed loudly and said. That's really talented. The way of immortals you performed at the end was really a very talented move. Then he wanted to fight one more round. Yes. It seemed like he was very upset in his heart and wanted to undo the fight. He also agreed. This time he felt a bit unstable but still wanted to gain face and let him take a step forward. But then he thinking back. Maybe it was like he didn't want to give in anymore. So he said to Joey. Well, there's a saying that the first person always wins. If we keep doing that, we'll be at a disadvantage forever. He thinks that if we give in to you anymore then he will lose again. He replied. This time the disciple let the master go first. He quickly agreed. The next battle continued in that place. The atmosphere outside the house was warm. But who knows how tense they are arguing inside. This time it was six rounds. He could only endure six rounds. He was already very upset and uncomfortable. He angrily pointed his finger and shouted. One more time. He also complied. So the battle continued like that. One battle after another. He was extremely helpless. His body trembling. Said in despair. Have you lost 13 times in a row? Am I dreaming? Surely I am dreaming, your younger brother said. Maybe it's because you haven't mastered the three swords yet. Let's stop here brother. Shut up, boy. He turned around and shouted. He didn't want to lose face in front of a junior like Joey. Then he sat down on the chair, facing Joey and said, Very good. You must have studied each three talented swordsmen is very skilled. 
right? So it's only fair to give me time to learn the three talented swordsmanship. So what should I do? He asked. He continued, even though the three talented swordsmanship is low in martial arts but you don't have to study for about a month to understand it. Right? He said, then after a month we will continue to discuss. His master stood up and answered firmly very quickly. Okay, okay, don't be afraid, you have to go to the nursing home discussion area. Finished speaking he quickly walked away. Without saying anything else, after the recent sword fights, he probably felt like he didn't know where to hide his face. Joey watched and smiled softly, thinking, if he knew if your opponent argues that your sword is a sword god, what kind of expression will he show? He will probably be mad. Little does he know that the last 13 losses were against the sword god Jo Cheon. Not must be a kid like you. A hand touched Joey's shoulder. His senior brother Jo Hugh said with a scared face, Who are you? Maybe he also discovered something. Felt you not the Joey of the past. He asked a question that made him feel guilty. Jo Hugh, after observing the sword debate just now, was surprised to think, the three sword skills that I practiced the most diligently. I still remember all of them. I was thinking about the sword in my head but, is that guy a martial arts genius? No, it feels like I'm facing something much stronger and even conceals his internal skills. He's thinking of things that what I learned is nothing compared to Joey. Then Joey waved his hand and said, Later, later I will explain everything Joe Hugh brother. Bu Woon Ji observed and said, I was just planning on drinking with him, but that's it it doesn't seem right. Let's see, Hai Wa and Yun Sol are already married. That's right, I still have Gaeung. He's probably thinking about marrying his daughter to Joey. But he's just thinking because his brother spoke first. What do you think about the most beautiful flower in the Namgung clan? Namgung 2-2. Joey replied, the women of the Namgung clan are of course beautiful, but no one seems to know anything about An He, right? That old man smiled and said, it's my granddaughter, come on, let me introduce her to you. His granddaughter seems to be a very beautiful beauty. She looks very lovely. Then they immediately moved out of the backyard. Bu Woon Ji ran after them to stop him. No, brother, he already has a fiance. He quickly retorted, Who, who dares to get engaged? To my daughter, Mount Wa Little Dragon. Bu Woon Ji replied, But he denied, Who said he gave my daughter to that beggar Taoist? Now he has marked someone else then. He quickly changed his attitude. Bu Woon Ji didn't know what else to say to him. At the Namgung clan, after a while everyone left that house. The backyard inside was so solemn. The sunlight shining in made it more magnificent. Joey walked around feeling that something was wrong. Something was very strange, although it was a good thing that the elders had sympathy for me. But I was forced to stay with them for half a month. I should have gone back and to develop his business. But now I'm stuck in the sword sect. He wandered around the backyard of the Namgung clan, went into a room to look around. He thought to himself, but how long will it take to get to my place? That little girl. Joey looked around at the items stored in this room, feeling it was truly magical. He thought this dark, cramped place was like the underworld. Then Joey gradually walked closer to one of them. The instrument was placed next to it. He reached out to touch the instrument, wondering if it could still be used. He plucked the strings, making clear sounds. He realized, according to the modern music, it was do, re, me, so, la. Joey seemed interested. That's it. Reminds me of when I used to play the guitar in college. So you experienced the guitar happily. Someone spoke up. How did? Joey hear the voice and turn around in surprise? And he was surprised to see a beautiful woman in front of him. She walked in and asked. That. How did you do it? Her face faltered in embarrassment. Joey quickly clasped her hands respectfully. I was rude. The old man who had just stepped inside. The beautiful woman asked again. How did she make that sound? Her eyes lit up thinking. At the same time blocking three seconds with overlapping sounds to create that sound. When singing, we often combine sounds from many different instruments. But, she quickly ran to beg. Please teach me how to make that sound. Joey replied. It's not difficult. I wonder if you can help me adjust the remaining two seconds to the pitch I want. She happily walked to the piano confidently. If it's about adjusting the pitch of the strings, there's no sound that I can't adjust. Whatever you want to adjust to, he said, if you help me, 
young lady, set one second to the sound between the MI and SOL sounds. One second to the sound between the LA and DO sounds. She did as he wanted and asked, if it's the sound between MI and SOL, then do you want to be Trong Lu or Miss Bowie? Joey replied, can you try to break it down for me? Then she started plucking the strings. A sound came out, but Joey replied, not this sound. Then she changed the way she played. Playing another melody, Joey heard it and realized, it was this sound. Is the sound, Rabid Lu? She said happily. Then she continued to strum the guitar. Joey heard the melody and told her back. She was also interested. This sound is lamb trung. Joey put his hand on the guitar and told her. Combining the appropriate sounds together is called harmony. Harmony. She wondered. He continued. Yes. Starting from harmony C then he played gentle sounds. She heard that and was surprised by his way of creating harmony. But harmony what is C? She wondered. Joey heard it and was speechless. Not knowing how to answer. He played and thought. How to explain? I don't know how to explain either. Because it's the way called by modern people. Followed by harmony D he did not answer but continued to teach. Playing each resounding melody. After hearing it, she was extremely happy. As if her eyes had opened wide. She exclaimed. That's it. I heard this music just now. This sound. So beautiful. More. More. They talked happily to each other in the clear and gentle sound of the piano. The old man stood behind and watched. Silently sighing. He thought. What can I do? Why did that name suddenly fall? Come down here. He looked towards his daughter. Seeing that she was very engrossed. He thought. That even if he met the elegant sons of other clans. He would still show an arrogant look. But why are you so happy to meet him? She turned to ask. Sir, just now you played the do and mi sounds at the same time. Right? You replied. Yes. And if you combine it with harmony too. His hands continued to strum the guitar. But it didn't seem very smooth. Still not perfect. He missed a beat. He said. My strength is still lacking. Let me try come on. She raised her hand to prepare to continue playing the melody. And then the melodious sound of her guitar sounded so inspiring. Her appearance at this moment looked so beautiful. Joey realized that he had heard this somewhere before. He must. He remembered. It sounded right she looks like Maroon 5's girls like you. She's a musical genius. Her guitar sound reminds Joey of a song he heard in modern times. After hearing it, he was ecstatic. In this world, she was about to say something. Her face still as bright as a flower. Joey bowed her head and smiled shyly, saying, it's true that I have deceived the worker. It's embarrassing to do that in front of the young lady. The old man the master standing behind walked over and smiled and said, I've heard the sound of this wonderful piano. How can I hear the sounds of other piano masters in the future? That's right. How do you think of my daughter? He asked. What's wrong? Joey is embarrassed because the question is really embarrassing. I've seen all the most beautiful celebrities of the Republic of Korea. But to be honest, I'm still moved by this girl why? Joey observed her beautiful face. Then exclaimed from the bottom of his heart. The sound is wonderful. He replied. He looked at with interest. Somewhat proud. Making him feel feel unstable. Then you decided to withdraw first to be safe. Let me excuse myself first. He asked. You going to the elders court? Joey awkwardly said. Yes. Master told me not to go around waiting for people there. I don't can't disobey your words. This time he heard it and laughed loudly and said. This kid really doesn't know anything about him. Do you want to bet with me? Then let's bet go. He immediately agreed. One evening in the Namgung clan. Joey and Jo Hyuk were arranged to rest in a room. At this time Jo Hyuk was fast asleep. Only Joey was still sitting on the table thinking about something. Sword God. He silently called in his thoughts. Sword God spoke. Why is this happening? Then he asked. What did you do to my body? Why are the people of the Namgung clan so panicked? Sword God Jo Cheon replied. I just transmitted my unique sword and mind technique into your body. That's great. Why are you wondering? What is the answer you want? Jo Cheon asked again. This is what happened to my body. Shouldn't I know? Now the fear in my heart is also spinning around dizzily. He was confused. Inside him was surging some hard to speak power. Because all the meridians had been opened. Of course your internal energy had also increased rapidly. No need worried. You will be able to attain a complete energy code within three years. 
Zhou Qian explained to Zhou Yi to ease his worries. He wondered, saying that my internal mind dharma is stronger than the blue sky great lotus god the work of the head of the Namgung clan. Who do you think I am? Zhou Qian shouted angrily, making Zhou Yi's eardrums seem to be punctured. He continued, if you want to compare with my great heavenly sword art, there is only Grand Master Wisdom's great heavenly divine art in Tam Fong's Tai Chi divine art, and also Infinity Mixed Master's art. That's all. Well, maybe to deal with the power of the sword god Zhou Qian must be people with extreme strength. Not to be underestimated, Zhou Yi wondered again, according to reputation, is it not the magic power of Hua Sun and Thien Ha? Isn't the demon god art of Heavenly Devil City the most powerful? Sword God replied despondently, Stop mentioning such junk like demonic magic. This is the first time I've heard of Purple River God art. I've never heard of it. Seeing that kind of practice. Joey, when he heard that, he scratched his head and wondered, Could it be that in your time there was no Wa Sun sect? Yes, Zhou Qian replied. Then he continued, But there was no such thing as a dead heart method. Shen Gong, probably a mind technique created by later generations. Probably so. After all, it is similar to the five great magic techniques. But the mind magic he learned is more advanced. He decided not to think too much about it. About it anymore. Thank you. Joey is happy to have Zhou Qian behind him. Inside the crimson jade space, the sword god shows a cunning smile and says, After all, you increased your internal strength so quickly that you will soon just have to suffer side effects. So there's no need to thank me. Joey was scared when he heard that. What are the side effects? He calmly said, isn't that a matter of course? Do you know that you have what stages did you go through? What stages did you go through? What stage? Joey felt a little scared. He continued, if the practice is successful in such a simple way, then everyone in the world will have a peerless internal skill. All I do is use the overwhelming power of innate true energy to help you. Clears all the blood and meridians and forces you to accept the great sword heavenly technique. That's all. If you meet someone of the same level you will definitely win every battle. That is the biggest side effect. Sword sect can solve this problem. If you don't have the merit of earning money. You're just a child with a smelly mouth and the power of an adult. Zhou Qian explained further for him to understand. Zhou Yi sighed and said. If I finish the job. I will immediately go to the sword sect as quickly as possible. That evening passed like that in the Namgung clan. Joey and Zhou Hyuk were detained here. After a tiring day, it was finally morning. Inside that room, there were two people sitting opposite each other. They were doing something. Father, now you let me go. A man said to the old man who is also Joey's master. The old man said, quickly tell me the next move. This person seems to be the old man's son. He looked annoyed and said tiredly. After capturing his father with the Seven Star Clan's self-determination, he attacked the upper part with the giant dragon leaving the sea. He sighed and exclaimed, You idiot! Why did you choose the giant dragon to leave the sea right after the self-determination? That's the reason why the realm can only be like that. Hearing those criticisms, his son was so angry that he couldn't speak. Then Joey's master taught, After using all your strength to attack with self-determination, you must attack below with ascension one way. How's that? I've lost. He's powerless. The old man laughed. Cheerfully. Then he happily said. That's right. That's normal. That's right. Of course I won. Right. At this moment his son stood up and exclaimed. That's impossible I can't bear it. I'm really going now. Today is the second day I can't see the children's faces. The old man stroked his beard. Thinking back to yesterday's sword fight with Joey. That guy used 2002 way like his star and moon. This method is based on irregularity and unethicality. Called inevitable events. Three great swordsmanship. His son is puzzled. The old man blurted out. Up. That's right. It's four. Two. Eight thousand pounds. There must have been a senior person's support so the situation of four. Two. Eight thousand pounds appeared. The situation of four. Two. 8,000 pounds that the old man is talking about here is a feat. The method of absorbing the opponent's strength. One of the basic principles of Tai Chi is synonymous with using softness to overcome hardness. Who exactly is it? The one who made his father become like this with the three great sword techniques. The old man's son exclaimed in extreme surprise. 
He was discouraged to say a word. It was his younger brother. Newbie. Disciple. The old man's son was surprised. Then he sighed. His face darkened seriously. He looked dejected and recounted that, having lost 13 times in a row, I still I have never won against that kid. It was shocking to the listener. Then his son said in surprise, You have accepted someone with the strength of one of the seven martial arts as your disciple. My old man the Namgung clan said, What is the loss of martial arts? If I lose to a martial artist of such caliber, do I need to be so rich? My disciple is not even 20 years old. The more I listen, the more shocked I become. His son asked again, You're not lying, right? Pull out the sword. He angrily clutched the sword. Where is that kid right now? He asked. Old man Namgung replied, He must be at the elder's court. At the elder's court, the dark light shines on the side the roof of the academy. There are many people bustling here. They are talking to each other. What? You can't help but lose to a young man under 20 years old, is that true? Then the kid, there they gritted their teeth, angry, eyes wide open, looked at Joey, he was feeling awkward, they seemed to be mad. Joey sat there and said, hey, did I do something wrong? Then the old sword fairy walked inside, the people dodged to make way, respectfully bowed their heads to say hello. Then the sword fairy master sat down on the chair opposite Joey and said, okay, are you ready? Joey replied, there's nothing to prepare. The disciple is just waiting for the master to come. Okay, I'll go okay first. The old sword fairy said somewhat angrily. Please master, Joey calm down. Joe Hugh next to him is a bit nervous. The sword fairy go first. Those who heard that were surprised. Yes maybe they thought that if he went first, it would show that he was weaker than Joey. Joey spoke first. When starting, the disciple had a wish. Sword fairy master said, want to bet? Joey paid words, if the master said so, then consider it a bet. He asked, what do you want? Joey took out a book from inside his shirt, making him wonder. Then Joey opened the book. The money-making master looked at him wonderingly. This is Hafei's map. He looked clearly inside the map and asked, what are those dots? Joey replied, the red dots are the places that his disciples want to invite. Guests arrive. Master Sword Fairy heard that and wondered. Why are you coming? Do you want to do business? Then he clicked his tongue and said, If this old master loses, the master of the inner court will give you the Thuong Thien sword card. Then he said big, in return, if I win, you will have to change your name and become a descendant of this family. Joey was extremely excited when he heard that and quickly agreed. Okay, then it's a relationship. Inside Crimson Jade, the sword god Zhou Qian was furious, clenched his fists. His veins raised and said, What an arrogant guy, dare to take you for his family name. Today I will teach him how high the sky and the earth are thick. Master Sword Fairy has now entered the fencing match. Grandpa Chu, after taking over your back with his own determination. After a while of competition, many people still flocked to watch the sword debate between the two. People. The people around observing said, What? As if they were listening to instructions. Instructions. They were puzzled. Joey was still dueling with swords. Competing to transfer eight parts of his power and then using self-determination to take over. Behind his master, he used one flash to break through the mountain to aim at the destiny point. Joey's technique changed. He threw himself behind the master sword fairy. Surprising him. He dodged. He attacked Gong. Used self-determination to avoid. Then use open Thien Thien Toa to execute the sword technique. Joey continued to use PM. If use self-determination to avoid. Use NHI Thien NHI low point 2 Accu points or brain Accu points and see cave. The sword fairy master lowered his face. He didn't look good, he thought. So all the moves of destiny and evil self-determination were blocked. He remained silent, as if thinking of more moves. After a while, Joey said, half a moment has passed. The master also knows the rules of swordplay. So, he waved his hand to move again. Quick self-determination. I use self-determined speed in the opposite direction to escape the attack. Yours. As expected, they believe in the power of the sword fairy master. Joey still refused to give up. Continued to counterattack. The disciple used eight points of his strength. Waiting until he returned to the self-determination just now. 
Disciple having used up half of the power. Use the combined foot technique to deploy the full power of the fortune telling. Next, finish by using the flying eagle behind the master. He seemed to be at this moment, feeling the difference in strength between the two. He despaired, thinking, the gap between him and it is too obvious. Sword fairy master sighed, boy, I've lost, let's use this game to decide the winner. Then he asked again, but can we play a few more rounds, of course. He said thank you to Joey. The people around who were watching them said, it felt like he was requested to learn so. Continued they debated swords for the next games. Sword fairy master made an attack. Then Joey also made defensive moves and fought back. Even though it was a sword discussion, it looked like they were having a real sword fight. The sword fairy master's sweat had already flowed out. And Joey looked like he had unmatched power. Unable to decide victory or defeat. He looked at Joey's aura and thought, this is the Thai mountain. Standing in front of the Thai mountain, my sword work begins to scatter. He realized something. Then he began to apply his merit. An aura emitted around him. His son stood next to him and said, Could it be that you have already enlightened? Dharma protector. Quickly protect him. Everyone went to protect the surroundings immediately. So stuck together. Joey stood far away and thought to himself. After a while of the old sword fairy's enlightenment, people outside and inside were still waiting. He gradually opened his eyes. And it looked like there was a surge of strength then. His son went back to ask, Did you gain great enlightenment? The sword fairy master replied, Boundless heavenly sword technique. I managed to understand up to the latter half's third move. Everyone happily shouted, Congratulations sir, congratulations. Then they looked at Joey in doubt. While they were debating but they were enlightened. It made Joey feel cold down his spine. Joey could only laugh it off. The sword fairy said happily, Must I call you master? He laughed loudly. Joey also laughed and said, You didn't forget the heavenly sword plaque right? Then the sword fairy raised his hand and said, In the future you will have can use the name Namgung to do everything. I will tell the head of the inner courtyard. Thank you master. Joey clasped his hands, bowed respectfully to him. Your mood was extremely bright and happy. I can't I understand. I have never met a martial arts genius like you in my entire life. Do you really just want to be a businessman? He asked in confusion. Joey smiled and said, Master, don't say that. If you don't have food to eat, then how can I learn martial arts? So, my disciple, please let me go to the inner courtyard. Are you ready to go right away? Master Sword Immortal asked him. Yes, there's still a lot of work to do. He replied. Then he realized he immediately said something more. With. Then he looked at Joe Hugh and said. Can the master accept the disciple's big brother to become a martial arts master of the family? In terms of qualifications, the disciple does not know. But the enthusiasm there's nothing to discuss about his blood for swords and martial arts. Joey recommends Joe Hugh. Sword fairy. Hearing that, he called his son. Azure Dragon Squad Captain. Here, please. The elders of the royal court gave an order. He knelt down respectfully. And then the old sword fairy turned to give orders. Accept him into the Azure Dragon Squad AMD provide him with guidance. Yes, sir, I accept your orders. Joe Hugh gone at this moment. He was so happy that tears came out of his eyes. He didn't think that one day he would be able to come here. You are satisfied. Joey patted Joe Hike's shoulder and smiled. Joe Hugh was so happy that he couldn't say anything. Joey said next, maybe we won't see each other in the next few years. Will you still be okay without me? Joe Hugh happily said, of course. He continued, don't forget to stop by the workshop to visit your parents from time to time. Joe Hugh heard those words as if he wanted to say goodbye. He asked, of course. But where are you going? Let's leave it later. Later. Brother. Joey doesn't intend to tell Joe Hugh his intentions. Just said a few short sentences. Then he left the elders' court. Outside the elders' court, there were many people clasping hands respectfully with Joey. Sir, please have a hypothetical duel with me too. I would like to learn from you too. They seem to have met their idols. At this moment Joey walked straight towards before. Without paying attention to them, they cheered. Looking at him right now like a big star walking on the red carpet admired by many people. On a cool, blue sky morning, somewhere it was deserted. It looked like a workshop. General Manager Lee stood outside the door, thinking happily. 
since the first time we met. I've seen him being different. He remembered what Joey said when before. Of course I couldn't use money to please the old masters. But I will make their hearts come alive again. Manager Lee then asked in confusion. What do you mean by that? What? The Cho family smithy. You laughed and said that. Back to the present. Joey has returned. You opened the door and walked in asking. Manager. Are you okay? Boss. He recognized you. Then Joey put up the heavenly sword plaque so brightly his face was so proud. Lee the general manager was surprised. Then he got excited and said, we have to set up a new workshop. Not only that, he said with a smile. Lee the warden replied, it's been a while, we've finally sold the weapons. I've gone to see the master. Please hang it up, you give Mr. Lee the heavenly sword plaque you just got. In the Namgung clan, you added, in a month about five to six carts carrying Quang iron fiber will arrive here. The lords of the guild will personally support those carts. We probably don't have enough money to buy iron ore. General Manager Lee said. Then Joey replied. Sir Ward, please take your time. That makes him grateful. On he first workshop. We will turn this on he into a kingdom of iron. He exclaimed with determination. Setting a future for Joe clan's workshop. You really did it. General Manager Lee smiled contentedly. I haven't done anything yet. This is just the beginning. Just leave it to my father to take care of building a new factory. He will be able to do it himself. The manufacturing of weapons. Let's set it up with the name Weapon Mountain Pavilion. The general manager. Please take care of arranging human resources. He advised. General manager Lee added. With the output of our workshop. We can forge hundreds of swords a month. Is there any place to have you sold the goods yet? He asked. Joey took out a letter from his shirt and said. This is a handwritten letter from Judge Bang to the Great General Division. I am thinking of sending a weapon to the military that they can use for free. The military. Is it really free? General Manager Lee was surprised to hear what you said. Joey continued clearly. The great general, Shaho Miang's heart, won't be moved with just a prototype. We need to make a weapon that can impress all of the smithy masters. Until we can do that, make sure you do not send them any weapons. Joey turned around and continued the plan. And we need an independent merchant association. Who will only buy items that our smithy produces? General Manager Lee said with a serious face. Do not you already have the Fire Dragon Merchant Association for that? Joey replied. An independent merchant association. General Manager Lee was a bit confused. He repeated I am talking about our very own merchant association. You talk about a bigger intention in the future. General Manager Lee exclaimed in shock. Are you saying you will create a merchant association? That's right the main character. Every time he says a word he will become a human another heart stopping. Joey smiled and said. Yes. There's no reason to hesitate since we have the heavenly sword plaque. Lee said fearfully. Boss. But. Jahui then approached the table and added. Up until now. The Fire Dragon Merchant Association has monopolized our products. How much do you think they have profited? General Manager Lee agreed. That's right. The benefits of our workshop not as good. Joey said it's about two times more than us. Lee General exclaimed. Twice. He couldn't believe it. He continued. The Fire Dragon Merchant Association has earned about 1,000 golden tails with just the investment of 60 golden tails in just eight months. The profit is enormous as compared to the amount invested. General Manager Lee confusedly said that. After all, the third young master is also a brotherhood with the guild master. Joey then sat down on the chair. There's no way to say. That's all we can do. We've done our best. He continued. Dealing between merchants are about equivalent trend. There is no way a dealing where one side is losing out can continue over a long period of time. Above all, Jang Jae is someone who knows this very well. Joey continued solemnly. I always warned him about this fact. But, he suddenly proposed something that was attractive and so that's where our dealing end. Joey immediately speculated that, the only reason why I put up with a deal that's disadvantageous to us is because of the ingots. But, since we have the iron ores now, there is no need for us to take on that loss anymore. He said next, General Manager Lee, I would like you to also hold the position of the merchant association owner. This proposal surprised him. You said, if you are in monopoly of our smithies products and are running the merchant association that distributes them. 
How much do you think we can earn in a month? General Manager Lee heard this and silently calculated the profit that would be earned. Then he said, 1,000 golden tails. Why do you say that? He asked. General Manager Lee replied, I calculated the profits of our current products and multiplied it by five. Because we used iron ores as the material for it, we will be able to gain more profits from running the Merchad Association ourselves. That's be 300 tails. He added, and if the development of products that the machine manufacturing pavilion Kizan Gak are completed, then the estimated profits would be 700 tails. Joey finished listening and said, you missed out on the manufacturing weapon pavilion. General Manager Lee continued to answer, I did that because you have ordered for the weapons to be of higher quality. If you want weapons that are acknowledged by the smithy masters who are proud of their work, it will likely take at least half a year just for development so I left it out of the sales. Joey continued to ask, what if the development is complete and we complete our deal with the great general division? General manager Lee pondered for a moment. Then he calculated 5,000 tails, expected to be 5,000 tails of gold. Joey smiled and said, it was as expected, very good. Manager Lee, he felt surprised looking at Joey thinking, isn't there any surprise on his face? A year that's 60,000 tails of gold. You took something out of his shirt, saying that now we can start a new business. What is that new business? Manager Lee was surprised. It was a Hafei map that he took out before. Now you take it out to show him. Isn't this the map of Hafei? He asked. Joey said, the small horse carriage that I asked the machine manufacturing pavilion to develop. No, Maim I should call it a human carriage. Do you remember it? General Manager Lee immediately realized. Boss meant what you called a bicycle. He replied, that's right. Once the machine manufacturing pavilion is done with the development of bicycles, produce 500 of it and keep it in our inventory first. General Manager Lee wondered about 500 pieces. How much warehouse would be needed to store them? And when do you plan to sell them? He calculated that, until we are ready, and we won't be selling the bicycles. That surprised Manager Lee again. He continued, the manager never thought like that. If there was someone delivering delicious food at the station, wouldn't it be that's great? Joey applies the mind of this modern man to the ancient world here. It will become strange and unique to others if you know how to apply it. Go delivered. That is what. Manager Lee didn't seem to understand. He explained, meaning, someone will pick up the food and bring it to the spot. General Manager Lee realized, could it be that the guest station business that the ward owner mentioned before is? Yes, I am thinking of doing an in-delivery service that delivers the food of our business. To any place in Hefei that has an alley. Then he pointed to the map pointed to a certain detail on the Hefei map and said, look at this map. These hundreds of blue dots are the current delivery table. Joey continued explaining the business strategy that you thought of for him. In those places, our inn staff will go there every morning at a fixed time and take orders for lunch and dinner. The payment will take place there as well. As soon as they receive the orders, the staff will write down the delivery address and time on the status board. Joey is explaining the details of the business he plans to General Manager Lee. He listened silently with a bit of surprise and anticipation. He continued, then, our riders, I mean, our delivery staff will go and check the status board. They will then go back to the inn and place orders. Once the food is ready, they will start to deliver the food to the areas that they are in charge of. What about bicycles? The general manager paid attention to the bicycles that you said you did not intend to sell. You answered questions. Of course they are for quick delivery. That is a breakthrough invention. In order to complete the delivery before the food gets cold. He talked about the effects of the bicycle he invented. Lee the manager laughed. He understood. So between the this blue dot with eight red dots is. That's right. As our station guest. You presented a perfect business data. General manager Lee thought. What a new business. Moreover even if competitors wanted to imitate but they couldn't do it because they didn't have bicycles. So they couldn't sell bicycles. He still had some doubts and asked more. But the price was too high. Don't we have to hire hundreds of people to deliver food? Boss, even if we lose, we still have to force them to eat. Joey said he was confused. He put his hand on his chin and commented. I think the food here is bad too. No taste at all. After all, who is the guy who says that Chinese food is the best? 
because sugar and salt are expensive. The food is so bland and bad. The spices are too few compared to modern times. Compared to Chinese tastes, when I was a modern person, it wasn't delicious at all. He secretly criticized. Let's buy a large amount of salt and sugar in Jiangnan. He jumped down from the table and ordered. Sugar and salt. He was puzzled. I will cook three new dishes. If everyone can feel the appeal of sweet and salty, those who are addicted will still buy it even if it's expensive. How do you calculate? Salty and sweet? After listening, he wondered, but still asked Joey, will we prioritize new business development over regular ones? Sure, he replied. General manager Lee nodded, affirming I will do my best. You at this time as someone who wants dominating Chinese food. Central Plains people, I will show you the wonderful modern taste. Like the villain of food. In the bustling streets. Inside the Namgung clan. Inner room master Namgung Beck. Namgung Beck was reading a book. He was reading when he noticed something. On the paper it was written. Golden token guest. Joe family smithy. Joe he. Issued the heavenly sword plaque. Namgung Beck wonders. Joe family smithy's Joey. Who is he for him to be issued the heavenly sword plaque that is only given to three or four people in a year? Namgung Beck wonders. This was given while I was away for work in Henan. Who gave this? Heavenly elders court master. What the hell? Contempt for society. Contempt for order. Contempt for family law. He shouted angrily. And even angrier. He slammed the table and said. I barely separated him from some random young man. That looked like a beggar whom he wanted to become sworn brothers with and now he has given the heavenly sword plaque to some unknown smithy. Couldn't help it. He stood up and left quickly. Out of the inner hospital. Namgung Beck went somewhere. He looked inside. Fidgeted around. Then silently wondered. But, why is not there anyone on the training ground? He went straight inside. Thinking that, they should be training right now though. Where did the Azure Dragon Squad and Heavenly Dragon Squad go? And suddenly he noticed a sound. When he entered the gate of another area inside the workshop he saw a lot of people gathered in front of the yard. Wondering, what are they all gathering here for? Greeting, inner court master. The people of the Moray Dragon Group saw Namgung back and immediately respectfully. The Dragon Group all gathered there here. What's going on? He asked them. We are in the midst of doing hypothetical duels. They answered. Hypothetical duels Namgung back was confused. Then he changed his face. Turned into a cold face and said. Hypothetical duels are not allowed during working hours though. Did I remember it wrongly? We got permission from the captains. Who they nervously replied. The captains. He wondered. Then, Namgung back gritted his teeth thinking. Has the family's activities and traditions collapsed like this? Then the head of the Namgung clan's house. Namgung back waved his hand and shouted loudly. The path of sword is never ending tough training. You guys must know that as well. What are you all doing? This is too much even for a joke. Those they quickly spoke up to explain. The captain saw it with their own eyes at the elder's court. He angrily questioned. What exactly did they see? The people they told about the events that day. Elder court master obtained enlightenment via hypothetical duels. And have reached the level of heavenly eye. That is really. He thought in amazement. The heavenly eye is something that appears when one has mastered the sword arts of O family. There are less than 10 people in the history of Out family that's achieved that. The dragon group in somewhat excitedly said. Yes, we have seen. Namging back thinking. It's no wonder that they are doing this since a martial master have reached the same level as the patriarch. Who was the opponent of his hypothetical duel? The patriarch himself. He continued asking. A person who stood up to answer. The opponent was an external disciple of the inner court master. After hearing it he was confused. Who was an external disciple? And then he realized. He is taking an external disciple at his age. This would mess with the hierarchy a lot. Who is the person who became a disciple? He asked. The young man in front of him answered. It's Joe family smithy's Joey. Another shock. It was that Joey again. He was surprised. At this moment. Joey was inside the room sipping a cup of tea when he felt like someone was calling his name. Namging Bak's face immediately turned dark. He called Riong Ju's name. That assassin named Riong Ju obeyed orders. He immediately appeared. He ordered, find out everything about the man known as Joey and the Joe family smithy. He commanded, at Namgung clan, 
In the backyard, someone's hand was preparing to touch a cup of tea. Two elders of the Namgung clan were chatting together. The old master smiled happily at the person in front of him. He said, to think you're only looking for me now. Patriarch, I guess you have been busy with your duties. In front of him was Namgung family patriarch heavenly sword warrior. Namgug Su. He clenched his fist as if very angry and said, I only managed to read the hypothetical duel that took place three days ago today. Sword fairy master laughed and said, You must be very surprised. Yes Namgug Su answered. Then he thought. He used third-rate sword techniques like three-element sword technique with concepts of evasion and to use the opponent's strength against themselves. That allows him to fight in ways like in advanced martial art theories. In this hypothetical duel log, the three-element sword technique has been the most perfect one I have ever seen before. It's a level that not even I'm at. Namgug Su thinking. He said seriously. Is he from Mount Wa sect? He realized. Villet Don Sword Saint. The strongest martial artist right now. Although we're at the same level. But someone whom I'm unable to catch up to. Nam Kung Old Man gently shook his head and said. It wasn't him. Nam Gug Su wondered. If so, who was it? Then old man Nam Gung took a deep breath. He said, I'll fill you in over time. I hope that you'll be able to gain some learnings as well. Nam Gug Su immediately stood up and said, Uncle congratulations on your enlightenment. The old man proudly laughed loudly. In another place, on the street in the late afternoon, a certain restaurant, many people were coming here to rest and relax. Someone walked in, attracting the attention of the people around. They whispered contemptuously. Wa family sword sect. Wa family sword sect. My ass. More like Wa family dog. The man who walked in was Wa Siomyong. The good for nothing of the Wa family. The way he walked in was also very arrogant. Wa Siomyong stopped at a nearby table and smiled to say hello. The heroes of the Yegel family are all gathered here. There was a handsome man with an elegant demeanor. He smiled and said, Sir Wa, have you been well? Wa Siomyong smiled and replied, Wait, who do we have here? Isn't that the young Yegel? Yegel Woon. Objectively please come in. There was a waiter calling from behind. Someone outside walked in. It was two people from the Namgung clan. Wa Siomyong cried out when she saw them. It was the little sword master is that so? He immediately flirted. The lady became more and more beautiful. This arrogant guy had no shame. Walked up to gossip and flirt with the beauty. Namgung Soso -so nodded slightly, not wanting to pay attention to him. Casually replied, Long time no see. You're still as frivolous as usual. The young sword master of the Namgung clan spoke up. Wa Siomyong he laughed loudly. And then let out a sarcastic comment. To think the young sword master and young Yegel would be gathered in the same place. As expected of the young dragon's banquet. That made Zhang Hu feel uncomfortable thinking. If it wasn't for the orders from my family. I wouldn't even want to talk to them. I can't believe that I need to travel to Shaanxi with these guys who'd sully the great name of my father with just brust and ink. Namgung Zhang Hu said, We'll depart right away after eating. There's a sound in the distance tense conversation. So what do you want? It was me talking to a man. He shouted, Hey boy, what do you want? It seemed like the argument was a bit loud so it made Namgung so so hearing it from afar. She suddenly realized it was Joey. That man got angry and said, Why do I have to tell you my recipe? At this moment Joey felt awkward. Confused thinking damn it, no matter how hard I pester them, no one would tell me the know-hows of running an inn. This will ruin my plans though. Joey impatiently. That guy seemed to know Joey's intentions. Smiled contemptuously. Thinking to himself that, I don't know which rich family he came from. But does he think I don't know he is trying to set up inns? Outside someone rushed in. It was Lee Janje. He called out, My brother, my loyal brother. He held up a piece of paper, breathing heavily from the rush, frantically asking, What is this all about? Joey secretly praised, Manager Lee is indeed very fast at getting work done. Do you know how long I have been looking for you? How can you suddenly end our deal without saying anything? Is this what being sworn brother means? He was both tired and angry, asking questions continuously to Joey. Joey calmly said, Brother, well that's just how things turned out. That's just how things turned out. Lee Janjay was upset. Then he squeezed grabbed the piece of paper and shouted, 
Even rival merchant association don't do this. How could you not even give a negotiation chance to a merchant association that's been dealing in 1.500 tails with you on a monthly basis? And just cut off our deal just like that. Moreover, aren't we sworn brothers? He probably can't believe your work. Joey calmly said, I respect and like you. But, we must to be clear in personal and business relations. He continued, and you are speaking as if I did not give you any chances. Do you know how many chances I have given you? I would remind you every time we meet. He was stubborn. That's it. Then Joey continued. The amount of profit that you gained from me in a month is a total of 120 gold tails. I am sure that you as a merchant know very well just how large that money is. Here so. Li Janjie felt uneasy. His expression seemed unbelievable. He knew the amount of money I have earned been form on we smithy. You were no longer calm at this point. Opened your eyes and glared at him and continued. Sworn brother, you always call me that. Tell me which brother would give his older brother 120 golden tails on a monthly basis one-sidedly. Such a relationship, is not it more like dealings between thugs or mountain bandits and not brothers? Which means it is more like a bribe though. Joey questioned, he now confusedly explained that, that's not it, because you know how much effort I went through to supply you with ingots. Not letting him finish, Joey took something out of his pocket. The bright heavenly sword plaque was presented in front of him. Li Janjie exclaimed in surprise. Heavenly sword plaque. Then he was speechless and didn't know what to say. Realizing that the deal was over. The owner and customer he touched earlier also scared. Clasped hands and apologized. Dear sir, I was rude to you without realizing who you were. Making Joey also surprised. There was the sound of footsteps approaching them. It was Namgung Jonghu. He walked came to say. Who are you? Why do you have the sword plaque of my family? Joey immediately clasped his hands and introduced. I am Joe family. I mean, Joey of the An He Smithy. Zhang Hu wondered. An He Smithy, show me the sword plaque. Then Namgung Soso -so came from behind to stop. Brother, he is the most famous person within our family right now. That sword plaque is definitely given by our family. Famous? Zhang Hu asked. Lady Namgung Soso -so immediately explained that, it is natural that you do not know about it since you only came out of isolation tranining yesterday. You can ask the Heavenly Elders Court. No, you will be able to know the detail just by asking the captains. Namgung Jonghu looked at Soso -so somewhat suspiciously or asked, did he offer some incredible artisan sword to our family or something? Soso -so laughed and said, that is not it, he is someone who possesses amazing martial arts. Martial arts. John Hu didn't seem to believe it. Looked over. He saw Joey's slender hand. And his vision was also not sharp. He silently commented. Then still firmly did not believe it saying. Are you joking right now? He is definitely not a martial artist. This. Namgung Soso -so didn't know how to explain it either. Then she spoke up. But he won all the hypothetical duels with first grandfather though. First grandfather. John Hu was surprised. Then Namgung Soso -so continued, they had tens of hypothetical duels but he never won one. What? That surprised Namgung Jonghu. She continued, and he has taken him in as an external disciple. He might be an external disciple but he still is above us in terms of hierarchy. It is not right to keep treating him like this. Disciple. Namgung Jonghu clenched his palms angrily. Are you saying that someone who does not know a single martial art is one of the elders of our family? I will not allow that unless I see it with my own eyes. Namgung Soso -so said helplessly. Let us go back to our family and confirm them. Too noisy. He shouted. Joey stood next to here and felt annoyed. There is still the matter with the merchant association. Nothing good will come out of getting more involved in this. Then Joey stood up and respectfully bowed his head and said. I will assume that Lady Namgung has confirmed the authenticity of the sword plaque then. I will take my leave now. Behind me is Li Janjie also bowing his head with a friendly smile to say hello. I have met you before in a faraway place. It is an honor to meet the young sword master. I am Fire Dragon Merchant Associations. But Namgung Jonghu just followed Joey without paying attention to Li Janjie's greeting. After Joey finished speaking, he walked out of the passenger station. Namgung Jonghu spoke loudly from behind. Stop right there. He heard it then turned around and asked. Do you have any other business with me? 
Zhang Hu frowned and said, The heavenly sword plaque represents the Namgung family. And you are someone I have no idea of but yet possesses it. This is not a simple matter. Joey told him, As I have said, did not Lady Namgung already confirm its authenticity? Namgung Zhang Hu raised the sword to his face and declared, I am representing the patriarch right now. I need you to prove it to me too. Namgung Soso -so and the others standing nearby heard it and felt the atmosphere gradually tense. Straight. Hua Seo Myung stood nearby also waiting to talk. The young Yegel. Yegel Woon also noticed. Somewhat surprised. Inside Crimson Jade, the sword god Zhou Qian spoke up. What an interesting fellow. He said, he is definitely a skilled swordsman. It is hard to reach his level at his ega. The elder sword god has never said good things to anyone. He likes him. Joey was thinking wildly. The sword god Zhou Qian was full of motivation right now to do bad things. His villainous face appeared clearly. He started his hands and smiled and said, It will feel nice to crush him. You stood outside scared for him. What? He said crush him. Sword god Zhou Qian said, I think in your world's words he needs to be schooled. Right now Joey is feeling confused. To be schooled? Wait, sir, you can't do that here. Be quiet. Take him on since that's what he wants. Just go ahead. The sword god of blood is so exciting. I ask you to continue. He secretly sighed. I felt I couldn't help it. Then Joey asked, What do you want? Zhang Hu answered, Hypothetical duel. Zhou Qi on it. Tell him exactly what I say. Do not add any unnecessary comments. Then Joey listened to the magic sword Zhou Qi on. Spoke up. Nam Goong's sword arts focus on power and being quiet. Why are you focused on speed and showmanship? What? Zhang Hu surprised. Joey said according to the words passed down by the sword god Zhou Qian. You are definitely trained in acupoint blocking. Please do not train in martial arts while being in the dark anymore. While it is natural for a swordsman to train in the visual acuity, you should not be too reliant on what you see. You teach. What the hell do you know? Namgung Zhang Hu shouted angrily. Joey continued. For acupoint blocking arts, the moment you burst out in power, you must be born with the talent to obtain that sensation. There is a reason why finger art are rare in Jonghu. Not only must one be talented, it does not go well with Namgung family's sword arts. Joey reminded. Namgung Jonghu was surprised, thinking, is he talking about how talented I am right now? Then he gritted teeth cursing. Shut that stupid mouth of yours. At this moment Joey firmly pointed straight at Namgung Jonghu continued. Do you disagree? How obsessed were you with unsheathing your sword for your arm to be in that state? What's wrong with my arm? He looked at his own hand and said, Is not your right arm a little longer? The sword god Zhou Qian can see clearly inside him. Then, Joey spoke again, and see how your shoulder muscle is swollen. Only your cloud gate acupoint is developed. That's a typical characteristic of a swordsman that's obsessed with unsheathing swords. Everyone who hears it is amazed. Joey continues, the marks of a boulder that exposes itself even though it does not crumble even in storms over a long period of time. Joey said bluntly. Unchanging boulder. Namgung Jonghu was amazed. He is gradually realizing. The part of a great dragon that punishes the corrupt world as it looks down on the world and tolerates all creation. Soaring dragon path Joey's words make him consider. The true nature of the heavens that tolerates all evil. Despite being forceful and suppress seed but does not crush the world. Joey said, the path of the emperor is a puron that does not return to a part that's collapsed. He shouted loudly, the blue heavens that look down on the world with arrogance but yet embrace it lovingly. In the 200 years history of Namgung family's sword art, there were no traces of swift sword techniques nor fanciful and useless sword techniques. Joey questioned him. Then Joey suddenly became speechless again, then realized that, damn, I got too into it and said everything the sword god said exactly as he said it. What should I do? Will he beat me? Joey started to get scared. Hua Seo Myung stood in the middle of the crowd after listening then speak up. It is 400 years though. Heavenly scripture. He was simply taking about Namgung family's basic sword arts but, I have been losing sight of even those basics. Namgung Jonghu looked back at himself and realized that. Namgung Jonghu bit his lip thinking. When did I started being so obsessed? I couldn't catch up to his swiftness. 
he started to feel weaker than Joey. Namgung Jonghu thought again. Tens and hundreds of sword technique variations. Mount Wa, Young Dragon, Chung Wunso. At He, he clenched his hands, trembling remembering, in order to defeat him, I spent the last three years training while pushing my body to its limits. But my heart became more sensitive, rough and brutal, because I was scared of him. Namgung Jonghu's thoughts were a bit resentful. After his thoughts appeared, Namgung Jonghu slightly raised his head calmly, then said, did you say your name is Joey? See he was so polite. Namgung Soso -so also felt surprised. Brother is speaking formally. Joey replied, yes. He continued asking, you blamed me like a father. About that, you not knowing how to answer. Then he raised his sword high, his face showing a respectful look and added, I am Namgung Jangho, not a stupid person who does not know etiquette. I no longer doubt your abilities. Then Namgung Jangho smiled and said, even though according to hierarchy I should consider you a master. However I am still a young homeowner. So please understand me, just speak politely. Joey smiled and thought, damn, that's the behavior of a famous political figure. That's great, he looked admiringly. Then Joey also shyly suggested, you don't need to worry about that. Grandpa he almost forced me to become his external disciple. Please just talk to me normally. Li Janje stood next to him and was surprised to hear it. But the young sword master was showing respect to Joey. Li Janje also said that he intended to become friends and pay his respects. This one is Li Janje, Joey's sworn brother. He laughed, forcedly said, I am the third son of the Fire Dragon Merchant Association as well. Jang Ho did not pay attention Li Janje, only paying attention to Joey, continued. If it wasn't too rude of me to ask, would you like to have some tea together? Joey happily replied, it's an honor, but please drink. Okay, Namgung Jangho agreed. Namgung Jangho's ignorance made Li Janje feel unstable. I can't let my relationship with Joey end like that. He held up a book or something and exclaimed, waiting a little, do at least this for me. Joey. Then he turned coldly and said to him, Li Janje, please do not overdo things. Do the account sons of the Fire Dragon Merchant Association not get paid salaries? He laughed it off said, No, you're ten times faster than them. No, twice, I need it urgently. Joey turned and bowed his head to say to Namgung Jangho, Please excuse me, please excuse me for a minute. Namgung Jangho didn't pay much attention. So he said, It's okay, just mind your own business. Joey sat down at a nearby table, opened his notebook looked at it and listed it. Sharpening stones, 288 kilograms. Ink stones, 474 kilograms. Chunsmo, 288 kilograms. Pigeon fabric 3200 rolls. Silk 380 rolls. After flipping through the inventory book, he handed the book back to Li Jiang Trey said that, if there are a total of 82 items in the purchase book, then the total purchase price will be 4,873 tails. 4,873 tails. Li Janje suddenly asked. Joey confirmed. Yes. Li Janje received the book back and said. Thank you. Joey smiled and asked. You bought quite a bit of fabric this month. I guess you got yourself a new deal. Or was there an increase in demand somewhere? Li Janje quickly put away the books. Looking guilty. Answered. No. I just buy inventory because it's cheap now. Joey angrily stood up and shouted. See, look at you this is why you are just a merchant down to your bones. You never show all your cards and are filled with greed. How can I do any business with you? Next time, I will pay attention. Thank you. He waved his hand to avoid Joey's words. Then quickly ran away in excitement. Joey watched uncomfortably. Yegel Woon sat at the next table and was surprised. How could it be so ridiculous? There are martial arts competition and performances from each faction. There are also other arts such as tea ceremony, painting, calligraphy, music, etc. It was a meeting to exchange various fields. Yegel Woon said, There are 82 items with different weight. There are also more than 36,000 kilograms of items and 30,000 rolls of fabric. How can you calculate so fast in your mind? Are you a god of calculation? He couldn't believe it, ran to ask immediately, what is this again? Joey feels like there is trouble again. Yegel Woon said, there are 82 items with different weight. 
There are also more than 36,000 kilograms of items and 30,000 rolls of fabric. How can you calculate so fast in your mind? Are you a god of calculation? He couldn't believe it. Ran to ask immediately. Yegel Wun said. Even in the Yegel family that spent their lives learning arithmetic since they were young. Had no one who could count mentally so quickly. He wondered extremely. Then Yegel Wun asked repeatedly. What arithmetic method are you using? Is it a spreadsheet? No. You don't have anything in your hand right now. How can you calculate so quickly? It's a type of calculation based on remember. Right? In front of those constant questions. Looking at Joey trembling like she was a prisoner being forced to confess. He thought incomprehensibly. What the fuck is she talking about? It is nothing like that. And her eyes why is full of anticipation. I want to explain it to her but how am I supposed to explain modern mathematics? The biggest difference between modern mathematics and central plane arithmetic is the concept of zero. Even if there are a lot of items that need to be calculated, I can just use polynomial expressions or factorization to calculate them easily. Why is she treating such a simple thing like it is a superpower? Joey thought somewhat puzzled. Then Joey decided, I need to say something anyway so. I will just try it. He said, what number would it be if you tried to multiply 5 and nothing? Yegel Woon wondered, how can 5 be multiplied by nothing? Joey suggested, have you not thought that? Nothing could be a number before. What did you say? Yegel Woon was confused. Then she thought, nothing like a number. What kind of weird logic is that? Yegel Woon immediately objected, numbers are based on the fact that something exists. How could nothing become a number? She thinks that the higher the number, the more valuable it is. Joey thought helplessly. I knew this would happen. Then he stopped and said. Okay. Forget it. Yegel Woon still did not give up. Exclaimed. Wait a minute. Please tell me. How does 5 be multiplied by 0? Joey turned around and said. Because it cannot be multiplied. It remands nothing. He answered briefly. Yegel Woon was still confused. Why? What is that? Since nothing can not be multiplied by a number. 5 is the number that will naturally remain. What kind of weird logic is that? Joey opened his mouth to say something. Then he got angry and scolded. Blockhead. Yegel Woon couldn't hear clearly and asked again. Block. What did you say? Joey said shyly. Nothing. Yegel Woon seemed to have heard. And immediately felt uncomfortable. Are you calling me stupid? Namgung Jangho next to him smirked and said. If you can't explain things with your own knowledge, then ignoring everyone else's intelligence is surely the nature of the arrogant bastards of the Yegel family. Novelty Yegel. Namgung Jangho gave a sharp look, sarcastically pointing out Yegel Woon. Joey next to him saw and thought, no that's right, he just gave off a righteous aura but why suddenly like that? He looks like a true villain now. Yegel Woon let out a breath and said, I see there's a bunch of maniacs. Who denigrate all the other disciplines and think that the sword is the only thing that matters well. Her words were also meant to stab. Namgung Jangho grasped chopping his sword angrily said. I would rather bite my tongue and die than live as a white scholar who's full of cheap tricks. The life of a martial artist who has devoted himself to the sword for the rest of his life can only be called the pure truth seeker. He was being contemptuous. But Mr. Yegel Woon turned and said. Sigh. That's why I only heard what Anwi said as a joke. I do not want to turn my brain into muscles. Namgung Jangho again have a joking attitude. What did you say? Why cannot I hear your voice? Do you use a brush to speak? Miss Namgung so so saw that and shouted angrily. Just silly. Please stop. The atmosphere calmed down a bit. Sit down. Namgung Jangho opened his mouth. Wa Siom Young came from afar laughing loudly and said. Young Master Doa cannot be left out in the place when Little Sword Master and Little Yegel or Gatha read together. Monk brother, can you sit? He asked. Joey looked at him again, a little surprised and wondered. Who is this guy? Then suddenly he thought, it's no doubt. He is from a distant place but he was the one I saw when I went to the Wa family sword sect with my father. Wa Seo Myung. Joey sat down next to him. Glad to meet you. I am Joey from Joe Family Smithy. Is that so? He doesn't seem to care much. Joey smiled, but inside there was a fire burning. The kid swallowed 2,000 tails of gold and didn't remember. Wa Seo Myung laughed said, I still can't forget the lady's performance last year. 
I don't know when I can watch it again. Nam Gung So So ignored him. She only spoke up and paid attention to Joey who was sitting. I couldn't greet you properly the other day because I was in a hurry. I am sorry and thank you for your guidance. Joey also politely said again. No problem. Please sit down. Nam Gung Jang Ho asked I wonder. Do you also want to practice martial arts? Nam Gung So So said uncomfortably. Do you only practice martial arts in your mind? What did you learn? He asked her. Nam Gung So So immediately recounted his happy expression. It was a completely different stage of music and dance technique. I was a cow did not see to belong to this world. Music. Melody. He was confused. Yegel Woon asked in wonder Joey. Sir, can also master music? Joey waved his hand and said humbly. I am just a merchant running a small smithy. Who is he? Yegel Woon felt nervous and wondered. She thought back. A guy who doesn't know martial arts defeated even Namgung Jangho. A master of calculations that surprised me. Now what is this? Music. He just said he's a businessman. The best job he's ever done working in Hefei is to meet this guy. Then Yegel Woon shook the fan in his hand. She showed a friendly face but looked a bit perverted. Held up the fan she was holding tightly and said that. This is a phoenix gilded folding fan of my family. I would like to invite you to the family as a distinguished guest. When you have the opportunity, please come visit. If you show them this, it will also be considered seeing me. She invited. Then someone slammed on the table. Namgung Jangho said angrily. Put it away. Yegel Woon felt uncomfortable and asked again. Why? Why do I have to do that? Namgung Jangho said angrily. Joey is known as the master of swordsmanship. I mean, he is not an outsider in this family. It means that he is not a person who has anything to do with your cheap tricks. Yegel Woon also darkened his face and argued. Who knows? Is there a law that says you cannot invite a warrior who belongs to another clan as an honorable guest? What kind of law is that? Even at this time, the powerful and well-known groups are interacting with each other numerous times. Why does that pure feeling of wanting to serve someone as a guest turn out to be a trick? Namgung Jangho wanted to move his hands and feet. So he grabbed his sword, cursing in anger. So what? You bastard. The people around came to block it. Please calm down, little sword boss. No. Then Joey spoke up to make peace. I appreciate your kindness, but I cannot accept it. What a pity. Yegel Woon bit his lip. Not willing. Namgung Jangho heard that. He was extremely pleased. Blooming smirked. Then turned to look at Joey respectfully and said. I got emotional because I got a bit carried away. I will put back your drink later. Joey awkwardly nodded to him. Then Namgung Jangho said to Yegel Woon. Let us go once you have filled your stomach. You can choose whether to follow me or not. Hua Myung opened his mouth. Senior brother. Come along. Okay. Namgung Jangho agreed. Do you have something to do? Joey asked. Roy Yegel Woon Kuoi Dap. We are going to participate in the Little Dragon Grand Banquet held at Mount Wa in a month. Little Dragon Grand Banquet. Joey Thak Mac. Roy Joey Tham No Lai Rang. I think I have heard of it before. It is said that it is a festival of strong and outstanding warriors that is held once every three years. There are martial arts competition and performances from each faction. There are also other arts such as tea ceremony, painting, calligraphy music, etc. It was a meeting to exchange various fields. Kao Gi, Joey Luke Nay Nyan Ra, Kone Da, did he say Mount Wa? Joey Sui Don Teep, the sword god said his place is located in Ganchian, the boundary between Shaanxi and Ganchuan. Mount Wa is located in Shaanxi. Nyan Ra Duok Du Du, Joey Mo Loy Than Thien, can I come with you? I will pay for the trip because I am suddenly an uninvited guest. Kao Tham Gi Rang. They are the most reliable companions I can think of. And I can also use this opportunity to get to know people from Mt Wa. The age-old sect. And the five great families. Yegel Woon Chao Don. Hon Nen Thu Heat Kung Dong Han Voi Ban Ta. Nam Gung So So Kam Thay Vui Ve Noi Rang. Gai Dung Lo Lang Ve Kai Fai. Tai Mo Noi Kak. Duong Nu Le Vung Nui. Troy Trong Sun. Thuy Tiet Mat Mi. Ko mo don noi dang di choyan. O jua la mo ko zi nua sang trong duok bao ve boi nung noi zung kwan. Ben trong zi la dam noi joey dang di kung voi nhau. 
Wa Seo Myung Noi, I do not want to sound like I am boasting, but our Wa family sword sect runs a huge business. You won't believe how loaded we are. Joey Kuoi Noi, I see. Well, I have at least heard about the Grand Wa Bank in Hefei. He glanced at Namgung Soso with a boastful face and continued. The Grand Wa Bank is not our only business. You know, we also run the Sunny Escort Agency, the Hundred Dishes Restaurant, the Heavenly Fragrance General Store, and several small inns. He was probably trying to attract Miss Soso's attention, but maybe he was out of town. She didn't pay any attention to him. Joey smiled and said, Wow, is not the Sunny Escort Agency the top escort agency in Anhe? I have also heard all sorts of great things about the Hundred Dishes restaurant. Like the never-ending crowds. And the amazing view of the city from the top floor. Wa Seo Myung continued smiling. Do you know all about that? You are truly a person of profound understanding. Joey replied. Well, even owning one small inn is an accomplishment in my eyes. Wa Seo Myung proudly said. There is no need for you to be so humble. You know. And you are also right about that last point. For example, our Scralay Beauty Inn and Longevity Inn are. I just complimented him a little and he's already exaggerating. Joey thought to himself, then lightly smiled and despised the braggart in front of him. There was a call outside. Young master, we have a problem. Did something happen? Namgung Jangho asked. The bandits have raised their flags. The guard outside announced. What? He asked in surprise. Which group is active in this area? Namgung Jangho frowned and asked. The person outside answered, The Colossal Tiger Crew, the Colossal Tiger Crew, he wondered. Then Namgung Jangho quickly grabbed his sword thinking, I heard that the Colossal Tiger Crew was the weakest among the Senbenti two bandit gangs of the Green Forest. These damn fuckers must have had too much to drink. Namgung Jangho angrily shouted and went out. Yegel Woon took a breath and scolded. Look, are you a dumb animal? What kind of idiot charges in without even investigation? Is there even a brain inside that head of yours? Namgung Jangho angrily glared at her. What did you say? Yegel Woon continued. Think about it. Just because they call themselves the Colossal Tiger Crew, does not mean that they are stupid tigers. Would any human throw away their lives meaninglessly like that? They stopped the carriage. In front of them was a flag planted right in the middle of the road. I am sure they have noticed our family's flags. And yet, they chose to raise their flag as well. Yegel Woon deduced. Joey sitting inside the car said to Yegel Woon. Rather can only mean that they are confident in their strength and strategy. Yegel Woon replied. That's right. The fate of the Anhe's Pung clan proves that the Gangho isn't a safe place. After all. Damn bastard. Why does he keep bringing up the Anhe's Pung clan? Joey's blood boiled. He became extremely angry. Namgung Jangho stood outside and heard that. Angrily shouted. Anyway, things are a real mess now. Not only did the dismembered corpses of scholars get splattered all over the Murum Alliance. Even the mafia and criminal gangs are running rampant. What's up with all these fucking crooks? He scolded. Yegel Woon calmly said. Wait, look at the flag. One bear. The flag was placed in the middle of the road. Above was a picture of a bear. Yegel Woon realized. There's only one gang in the green forest that uses a bear as its symbol. So the people gradually walked out car to observe the situation. Yegel Woon continued. The crimson bear flag is the emblem of the bandit king. Cho Rungpai. That can only mean that either the bandit king himself. Or one of his disciples or direct subordinates are here. Cho Rungpai. He may not be one of the seven martial thrones. But he's just as famous as they are. Namgung Jangho bit his lip. Realizing the other person, a little scared, Yegel Woon stepped out of the car and lamented. Fuck, this is as bad as it gets. If I had blindly charged ahead just now, I would be mincemeat by now. Right now, on the cliffside there are many silhouettes of people jump down quickly. Yegel Woon looked at those people and realized it was the Grimson Bear Hurricane Squad. The monsters were known to be a fighting organization under the leadership of the Green King and a single company with strength equivalent to a sect. Those guys rushed down, all wearing a crimson cloak. Finally they landed on the ground. Those big guys smiled cunningly. Namgung Jangho stood in front of them, pulled out his sword and gave the order. Great Namgung, fighting. The guards of the Namgung clan also gathered and obeyed, preparing to fight. 
Immediately Nanggung Jangho rushed away at a high speed breaking the wind. He rushed forward, his face full of fighting spirit, shouting, quickly form a battle. Yegel Woon also waved his hand and shouted, I permit you all to use seal stones and battle arrays. Set the guard, cast the energy divination spell on everyone's back. Yegel Woon's men listened to the command, quickly pinned wooden sticks with some other word on the ground. They buried around them were blocks of stone written with formation commands. Deployed. The formation was set set up. Everything is ready. Yegel Woon advised Namgung Jangho. If you think there's no chance of winning, retreat to the camp right away. Let the gate of life know when you get in. Well, if you won't listen when I tell you not to fight, and you bring the enemies to us, it's your responsibility to reduce sacrifices. Namgung Jangho agreed. Terrible. Joey watched from behind. A great war is about to happen. The ancestor inside the Crimson Jade said. Amazing. Is it an advanced form of the angry divination thought? It's even more surprising that a single camp is cooperating with talented mages. Man Duck Su to spoke up. In other words, it means all of them fully understand the energy divination spell. They are indeed the descendants of Kong Ming. Dai Namgung rushed into battle. Namgung Jangho gave orders with a heroic spirit. Wait, a voice shouted. From above the cliff there was a figure of someone rushing down. He flipped circling in the air. Landing from above, was another person, looking majestic with a huge sword. Joey suddenly, he raised his voice to suggest. Say it happily. Are you Chol Wung Pei? Namgung Jangho asked. What did you say? He was surprised when he heard the question. Fuck, aren't ya crossing the line? How old do you think I am for you to mistake me as that old man and speak like that? Are your eyes only for decoration? That guy shouted in anger. How old are you? Hua Xiaomyung asked curiously. I'm 17. He answered while showing an extremely confident face. That answer makes it impossible for others to believe. In the back, Joey and Namgung Soso were surprised. He wondered, what, with that face, that's a year younger than me. But doesn't he look like he's 40? Yegel Woon thought his face looked so old how can he be 17 years old? Namgung Jangho don't believe it. You are joking too much. If you want to test us. Seeing that Namgung Jangho didn't believe what he said, he got angry and shouted. Damn it, I'm angry that's it. Why does everyone I meet see me as an old man? I'm a teenager. In the end why doesn't anyone believe him? This look of his probably others don't even dare to believe. Joey thought. That guy certainly has never washed his face. Let alone looked in the mirror. What do bandits wash their faces? If those bandits heard this sentence from you, they must be very proud. Namgung Jangho don't think so. If you have more patience then ask him. About this, you have to say something for me to believe it. Don't talk nonsense. Quickly reveal your identity. He shouted, really crazy. Then angrily turned to tell the person red cloak face behind. Kong Daiju won't help me. Why are you standing like a husband? He spoke up. He is John Yi Long, the great disciple of the great bandit Kane. Be polite. That introduction of he made John Yi Long unhappy. He proudly pointed at himself and said loudly, I haven't bowed to that guy yet. I said I'm not a disciple so why do you keep saying that? I only fought with that guy. No, shouldn't you tell them my age? Kong Daiju smiled and said, you're undoubtedly the great bandit king's disciple since you accepted the green blood treasure. Please be careful. Also, little king's age is. He hesitated. You laugh at me. Zhang Yi Long looked sharply at Kong Daiju. Then he straightened his face and said seriously. Our little king's age is surely 17. Hearing that, Zhang Yi Long immediately felt satisfied. Turned to ask the group of people. Have you seen it? Have you heard it? Have you heard it? Have you heard it right? This adorable attitude is so different from the look just now. Namgung Soso saw it and said. So cute. Joey couldn't believe it and thought in surprise. What's with her taste? Yegel Woon stepped up and said loudly. Who said it wasn't stupid mountain bandits? Why don't they fight and say? Are you kidding me? She continued knowing. Do you even know how much it costs to make one seal stone? Oh please stop it. You said you're the great king's disciple. Zhang Yi Long got angry again and said, I told you it's not true. Yegel Woon said, Then just tell me why you did this ridiculous thing. I am sure your actions have an offensive intent. You're just trying to shake off our troops. Aren't ya? 
Kong Daiju replied, Don't you know how foolish it is to have a conflict with some outstanding juniors of political factions? But in this borderland mountain, Yegel Woon replied, No, do you think core families wouldn't know that you did this? You know there's a branch in Hanum which is only 20 ri away from here. Right, he didn't answer when he heard it, was silent for a while. Then Kong Daiju said, We are only following the king's orders. There is no other reason. Yegel Woon is indifferent unexpectedly asked. The king's order. What order? He replied, To escort the little king. That's our mission. Zhang Yi Long quickly retorted. Kong Daiju seems to have said the wrong thing. I suddenly want to raise the flag and just wanted to go down the mountain. But they followed. Yegel Woon said seriously. Then I will have to talk to you. The disciple of the great bandit king. Zhang Yi Long did not accept that call. Just angry hand in hand and declare again. I told you I'm not his disciple. I'm Zhang Yi Long. Yegel Woon felt helpless with him. Kong Daiju also remained silent. Bowed his head, not knowing how to speak what's more. Yegel Woon took a breath and said, Okay, young hero Zhang Yi Long, no matter how young you are, you shouldn't have raised your flag to threaten us. You have to take responsibility. Then she shouted serious expression. If it was a little late, people on both sides would have been injured or killed. Do you think this is a joke? Zhang Yi Long felt confused and said, No, I'm just, then said loudly, Consider it an official request to talk. Talented disciples of famous sects like you will stand still. He questioned, What if you don't swing your sword? As soon as you see the flag of Luke Lam it's already causing a stir. You still dare to increase your reputation as a talented person. It's your political hero who has been causing trouble in our camp for a long time. Namgung Jangho was angry swung his sword and shouted, those who called as martial artists, you live by robbing or demanding travel taxes, including innocent people and women, so you are the black people, you cannot avoid being destroyed. Hearing that, Kong Daiju felt difficult, there, then Namgung Jangho applied his strength, put strength into the sword in his hand, and declared that, okay, come quickly, today I will definitely send you black people to the grave, the emperor of broken heaven. He unleashed. This guy is so childish. Joey thought. Yegel Woon behind him also showed murderous intent. To calm the situation, Joey spoke up to stop. First, let's talk. Please listen to what he has to say a little more no more. I have nothing to listen to. Namgung Jangho just wants to use force. This side Zhang Yi Long got angry. Coldly said, isn't this why stereotypes are scary? Hey, Namgung nobles. Do you know what the bandit's most important rule is? Zhang Yi Long waved his hand and exclaimed. We, the bandits will never air our sword except for the criminal and the defense corps. It's been 200 years since the spirit of the Jade Emperor settled in the green forest. Kong Daiju commented. Do you think the political faction will care about the Luke Lam's ordinances? They don't even teach their descendants the truth. The Luke Lam is too lenient. It's perfect for these juniors to assume us as enemies. It's a great thing to do. You can't directly educate your kids to deal with the demons of the heavenly demon fortress right away. Can you? He said. Namgung Jangho frowned and said loudly. Cut that bullshit. Aren't merchant good people? Your nature of viciousness has never changed. Zhang Yi Long raised his mouth and smiled contemptuously and said. Look at that unreasonable name. Hey brother. He suggested. Tell me if there's one of the top of the midfield that is directly or indirectly intertwined with the group of criminals or the government department. Then I will admit that Green Forest is a den of devil. Before the request to prove that, Namgung Jangho was surprised. What? Say it again. Then he got angry, gritted his teeth and said to Zhang Yi Long, threatening and stealing, even your deeds can tell everything. The root of evil will never change. Zhang Yi Long also won't give up. Whoa. That's great. Can you swear that we can afford to draw our sword at everyone and raise our flag to occupy all the good places? Hey, do you think Namgung still has a place to stick a needle in Hafei? Yegel Woon spoke up. Our nature of seizing with legitimate force is different from your mountain bandits. Zhang Yi Long continued. Is it that bad to intimidate and steal? Okay, though let me ask you one question. A loaded merchant opened a huge inn in Hafei. Just attracting the customers. The business is quite good. Who will be the first to occupy the inn? When he heard him ask, 
Namgung Jiangho immediately remained silent and did not say more. Zhang Yi Long added sarcasm. Let's assume their way is different from those who always play tricks. But, they modulated show off their power and make people have no choice but to lean on them. If you don't come into their arms, it means you support the rival in or ask the government to press you. Isn't that all what you got? Then Zhang Yi Long pointed at them sarcastically. Isn't the owner of that other inn the civilian as well? According to your logic, you should have just cheered on his business and let go of your rivalry. Why become a parasite to civilians? What? What are you living on? Namgung Jiang Ho was stunned. At this moment, Zhang Yi Long immediately became irritated. I said what I said. Didn't you say that we're a bunch of criminals? You said that we're only touching the Gano group and the merchants connected to them. You guys, too, for the sake of profit. No, would you call that as an honor? Aren't you used to having a war with others? The way I see it, we're just holding our sword and stealing. It's not much different from you people who are fighting each other for profit. I don't know about the nine factions, but I don't want to hear about this from you all. The fifth generation. Joey saw what Zhang Yi Long said and felt that something was wrong. Normally, a mind like this would be retarded. A senior inside Crimson Jade appeared, stroking his beard and said, but this argument is similar to duplicating Lu Tong Shu's diary. Zhou Yi opened his mouth to say something. Then he shouted, Your words have a big hole. What's the hole? What's the hole? Zhang Yi Long he wondered. After after using force to cause war. Now it's the debate column. It's Zhou Yi's turn to speak up. Firstly, the so-called laws of yours are imperfect. Are there still mistakes? Zhang Yi Long didn't think he would understatement. Zhou Yi started talking again. You talk about the laws that have been around for 200 years. But just seven years ago, during the poor harvest, the mountain bandits had stolen all the relief grains that the government gave to the commoners. Was hit. Zhang Yi Long was speechless. Somewhat surprised, Zhou Yi continued, the mountain bandit gang of Gawang Mountain in Ahw He province. Feng Tai County, we called them the Gawang Stronghold. At the time, those bandits killed and beat the commoners who held tightly onto the relief grains with no remorse. My father was also one of the victims. Joey said loudly, based on my investigation, at that time, the Gawang stronghold chief, Yang Chunho definitely belonged to the 72 Green Forest stronghold. Are you still able to say that the Green Forest law can rule all of the strongholds? With his argument Joey continued to argue. When it's something common that occurs within a mere province such as this. What do you think I will find if I look through the whole central plain? If the most important law of a group is already so half-assed. How could you call them laws? All the people around heard admired Joey's reasoning. Even right now, the name of the Green Forest Bandits is probably being used by others to plunder the weak. So, your logic of we're both the same kind of people is invalid. You refute John Yi Long's prejudice. Joey continued, you say that the orthodox faction don't remember your revised laws, of course. They, d therefore, why should they pay attention to people who don't change their old ways? At this time, Zhang Yi Long felt confused. He began to hesitate, looking for a way to justify. Wait, that's because the green forest is too big. Joey pointed and continued, secondly, the method of gaining profits is different. Yes, it might see similar. The orthodox faction would use their forces to gain power and take over businesses. That might not seem much different than bandits who charge into places with swords. But, do you guys possess the chivalry of looking after those who has been wronged? Or do you guys help people during disasters? Chivalry. Have you seen how the commoners of Hefei look when they talk about Namgung clan? Were their eyes filled with jealousy? Fear and horror? No. You'd see the admiration that came because of the help they've provided and deed respect for the chivalry and justice that they uphold. Did someone force them to have those emotions? Zhang Yi Long heard it and was speechless. Because Zhou Yi's arguments were too sharp. Namgung Jiang Ho felt proud of the Namgung clan. Zhou Yi continued, I didn't say there weren't any arrogant bastards in the Namgung clan after all. There are also people who use their power to satisfy their own greed. Hearing this. Namgung Jiang Ho immediately felt guilty, as if Zhou Yi was talking cleverly to him. Zhou Yi pointed his finger straight at Zhang Yi Long said loudly, but they have taken care of those who needed help for a very long time. 
with the poor overcoming hardships and sharing joys and sorrows. These are things that you do not have as pride. Justice and justice. Joey said, he got angry and thought. After blocking the road, he also used a sword to threaten to collect tolls. What nonsense do they want to say about death and justice? Just kill them all and be done with it. You feeling annoyed. At this moment John Yi Long turned to say to Kong Daiju. Now you know why I try to avoid meeting and talking to them. I really hate being a mountain bandit. Young King. He Kong Daiju exclaimed in surprise. Because of John Yi Long's words. Zhang Yi Long pulled off the robe he was wearing. His face showed an unpleasant look. Then he threw it away. People exclaimed. Whoa. He threw away the green blood cape. Zhang Yi Long said. I don't understand why this cape is so important. I wore it simply because the old man gave it to me and it looks quite sturdy okay. Then he told Kong Daiju the people behind. Go tell the old man this. I will leave the mountain camp. 